No? What's what's no? I'm like, the answer is like, am I ever going to get this? And I was like, I'm probably not. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, um, no, I'm so getting done faster. Refreshed. And I can post this around now. Provided it actually goes live and it doesn't. Uh... Oh, oh, that was. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know anyone's name, YouTube name anymore. Oh, ever? Wow. Not that I ever did. Oh, apology. Make, make make it. I know. I I saw your comment. I'm like, oh, that was you. And okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apology. Eighty nine. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so need to post this out. So how's your Thanksgiving? Uh, relatively uneventful, and I had to work, so. Oh, yay was... retail! No, I was one of the people boycotting that. Well, no, I work in a grocery store. I don't have a choice. Oh, okay. No, that's people need kind of food. <laughs> this is true because I ended up going to this little local grocery store called El Globo, for like. That sounds like a Mexican superhero. <laughs> I am El Globo. Well, I like do like this. like like the like the Spanish Captain America, you know. <laughs> well, I. Do you literally go to school like thirty minutes away from Mexico, so Well there you go. <laughs> now um we needed um corn and potatoes and it's like why don't we have corn and potatoes? We went to the store five times this week. Why don't we have corn and potatoes? <laughs> and like I I I actually had corn and potatoes, so I can <sighs> I can vouch for that. Oh, that's cool. You had corn and potatoes. I had. I managed to get corn and potatoes, and I got to see some of the people were lining up early for Black Friday. I was like, you poor, unfortunate souls. <laughs> I saw a, um, a little comic when I logged in uh, earlier and uh, logged into Facebook, and it was uh, all these people. It was, it was a mad rush to get like whatever new video games, and then there was a guy sitting on his computer. He was like, oh look, Steam's having a sale. Click. No, I don't do that anymore. I had a bad experience a few years ago. Oh? Yeah. Of what, Steam or...? Oh, um, Black Friday. Oh. You've all had a bad experience with Black Friday, though. Yes, I bought probably more than I should have. <laughs> most of most of which is for myself. <laughs> oh, that's what we all do. We all buy stuff for ourselves. I'm like, well, it's on sale. <laughs> um... Did I get anything last year? I know this year I got the new Pokemon game. <laughs> and that um, was about it. That, that's, that's not a series that I subscribe to myself, but uh, way to go. <laughs> the point is, I got it without paying $40. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so what did oh uh, announcement both not just to you but to uh, well, I guess everybody who's watching I oh, am finally cool. uh, moving uh, to I, I got I got a new video camera coming in and I'm going to be recording in HD now uh, all of my videos are coming in coming in HD now yay so you moved on to 3D <laughs> no 3D is a gimmick. <laughs> Not anymore. It's it's still a gimmick. It do, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything, but it, do, it doesn't solve uh, poor other problems. <laughs> You're right, but um, those cannot those common denominator does not know that. <laughs> Just because people like it doesn't mean it's not bad. <laughs> That's what I say, but like uh, my friends still want to go see the. Thirteen dollar three D movie. It's like, guys, don't you know how to sneak into the back? 
Not that I've ever um, done that. Much. No, but, but but my thing about it is that I, now I can't say for sure. I've actually never seen a 3D movie, so I can't actually say. But uh, it doesn't. Uh, any kind of visuals, not just 3D, but uh, you know, CG, special effects, visual effects, they, they don't um, they don't help a bad story. Um, yeah, it's true. Um, they could happen with the Last Airbender. Yeah. Um, some of it is pretty I'll, good. Yeah, I, um, I gotta say, with the Last Airbender though, I'll, that movie gets a lot of hate, but a lot of people wanted that movie to be this happy-go-lucky, um, like little kid movie. Um, and and I think that's where it disappointed people more. And it was ended up just being more realistic into this dark war drama. So, I I, I don't know. I never saw it. Like um, I've seen the. Most it's of not, Avatar that's not Star. great, but Sorry. it's you know because I saw most of Avatar: The Last Airbender. A lot of episodes I skipped because I was like, "This is stupid." <laughs> yeah, I mean they, they, I mean they were, you know, it's, you know it's Nickelodeon. They're working to, towards you know whatever it is. Is that um, an inkman? Certain, certain audience and demographics, which is why I'm I'm liking Korra a lot more because it's more grown up and. I like Korra, but I hated that this season is like, oh my god, was... we have to question yeah. our Mako and Korra's relationship. Yeah, it's it was pushed, I think, more to a teen drama uh, this season, and I it, it it suffered a lot because of that. And whether or not that was the uh, the writers and producers that did that, or if it was a suggestion from the network, who knows? But I'm gonna lean more towards the suggestion from the network. Probably. Than... Like, it's like it's oh a, you're you're making a teen drama. It should be like all of our other crappy teen dramas. No 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 no. You're doing a TV show with a female lead. She has to be in love with a man. <laughs> That's much more accurate. Thank you. Yeah. Which is something that I generally really really hate seeing over. And over. Yeah. And over. Well, it makes sense that you're doing uh, Merida then as, as you're painting today. Yeah. That was actually... It's kind of funny because I really want to see Frozen because it looks like it's just concentrating on the two sisters rather than, oh my gosh, I have to go save my sister. Oh my gosh, a hot man. <laughs> You make a pretty good 13-year-old girl right there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey. If I learned anything from Stephanie Meyer, it's how to understand stupid girls. No, not stupid girls. I actually have a few smart girls that like Twilight. Looks like Juanita's coming in. Yay! Oh, I gotta roll back to here. Yeah. Huh? Hmm. Hello, hello. Hi. Yep. I should probably put my glasses on so I can see the screen. <laughs> Drawing without glasses on? Uh, well, it's not. I mean, I can see, but when I'm trying to get these details. Oh, okay. Well, I'll wake up some days and I'm like, where are my glasses? Oh, right, I never put them on today. <laughs> Um, just going about my day. And I try and leave. Then I try and leave somewhere, and I was like, "Wait, I should probably drive with these." <laughs> I am painfully blind without my glasses. How is Thanksgiving? You're just morning. like Velma. Yes, it's true. Except I don't. Oh shoot! I'm wearing an orange top right now. Darn it! <laughs> It's not a turtleneck, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> okay. So 
So what exactly are you studying? Uh, I'm, um, I'm going through... Uh, well, okay, this is a bit of a long story. Uh, I was watching a number of uh, talks that uh, Adam Savage gave to uh, like Maker Faire and all, all these really you know big groups of people and stuff. And in, in one of them he talks about... Um, uh, how his creative projects uh, start uh, a lot of times in this what he calls his sort of like this creative folder, and it's this folder with all these libraries and hmm? folders with all these what? Sorry, I was interrupted. Um, so he's he's got a folder with all these pictures and and little files and things and just t it's packed full of of all these like images, it's just through, like image search and whatever. So I'm like, you know what? This is a pretty good idea. Maybe I'll try this out. So I have a folder shortcut sitting on my desktop right now called Inspiration Libraries. And uh, what it is is I'm I'm anytime I'm coming across a piece on like DeviantArt, uh, if it if I don't throw it into my favorites there, I'm throwing it into this folder. And uh, so here, I'll throw up a screen share real quick, quick, and um, show you what I'm doing now. Okay. Um, and so uh, I'm I'm playing with these right now because the, the most recent uh, piece that I did this with uh, was the uh, <clears throat> the painting, the source, the real blue cave one. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm like, okay, this this works. I went took. Uh, like three or four images and kind of composited them a little bit to, to make that uh, composition. And uh, I got to find screen share. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay. So this is what I'm working on right now. Uh, just a, a study of this. Uh, and I'm playing with that staircase pillar column-y thing. Um, Looks like someone can motor the rings. Uh, it, it very well could be. I don't know. I'm just, so, so this is things... Something I found on DeviantArt, the artist uh, slash uh, user, uh, DeviantArt user is Lake Hurwitz. <laughs> uh, I don't know, whatever. I'll, I'll post, to, to come to think of it, whenever I do the time codes for these, and you know I'm not great at doing the time codes for the, the Hangouts on time, but mm -hmm. I will go through and I will get uh, the link to each of these pieces that I'm doing this study for uh, in the description box eventually. Um, and uh, that way you can go back later and, and actually see the piece uh, on your own terms. But So anyhow, I'm going, I'm going through uh, w to a couple of these uh, images. I'm just gonna basically just going to scroll through. I've got a few interesting landscapes in here, um, things that I, I, I kind of like. So I want to do something sort of rocky. Uh, environment, caverns, that kind of thing, because that seemed to work uh, recently. And so I'm doing a few studies on that to kind of get some ideas. So long story short, I guess, is to say that I'm going through my Inspiration Libraries folder, uh, grabbing a few uh, pictures that jump out, and uh, doing a few quick studies from them. Cool. Sounds like a plane. I should take a look at. Uh, sorry, it's. <clears throat> and uh, recently, I found a, a blending stump that I had stashed away somewhere. I didn't. I mean, I knew that I had it, but I didn't know where it was. And when I found it, I was like, "Oh, a blending stump!" Dan, 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 dan. Yes, really. Oh, he got that! Yay! It's like da 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 da. -da. Ta da you know. Well, I was thinking of the Legend of Zelda one, but oh. Yeah, I know. But whatever. <laughs> oh, I should grab some colored pencils too. Oh, I think I'm gonna do that. I'll be back.
Okay. So, where was I? <coughs> um, you said I should get color punches on round. Yes, I I got my color pencils. Um. Oh, fancy kind. Um, thinking out loud. What these are these are the these are the cheap Prisma colors. They're not the they're not the really good ones. They're hard hard lead and cheaper. And no, it's okay. It's fancy and expensive to me because I am poor. Because cottage. Yeah. I know the feeling. Yes, but hopefully it's just three more semesters. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, that's what they all say. No, 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 no! Don't mess it up for me. I am. <laughs> And you're a senior, and you're like, eh, maybe I'll space it out a little. Hmm. I kind of just want to... I hope I get to graduate in the winter, because if I graduate in the spring, it's going to be hot. And I'm going to be wearing the cap and gown and, like, a dress shirt underneath, and it's, like, the only thing do that's going to be... Do they do uh, graduation walks in, in the winter? Yeah, they do at my school. Okay. I was going to say, a lot, of, a lot of them don't. A lot of them make you wait. Well... I think I've waited enough for graduation. It's kind of my <laughs> own fault, but... It's like, what do you mean you're getting a BA at 24 or 25? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah, it's something. I'll, t I'll, t I'll take a BA. I have one. Hasn't done me much good. Of course, I'll take a BA without all the BS. Mm -hmm. uh, my degrees, the nickname of my degree is BS, actually. Bachelor's in what, what are you doing, philosophy or rhetoric? Looking <laughs> okay, not that much BS. Um, it's environmental science. Oh, yeah, that is pretty big, pretty big BS right there. <laughs> it is fun to study, though. I took a an environmental science class, part of my uh, associate's degree, just to kind of get a science in there. And it was painful because it was community college uh, uh, environmental science, and everyone's like, "We should start an environmental club and plant trees." And I'm <laughs> just sitting there like, "What is this kindergarten?" What? <laughs> Unfortunately, that is the mentality of some people. It's just like. That is literally the easiest thing you can do to help the environment. You don't need to recycle. And, and even and even then, I mean, that's, I mean, that's like what, <laughs> the, the most low effort. You should have said that's what Arbor Day is for, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I I I really kept my mouth shut in that class because I would have just gone off on a rant. Uh, my professor just. Um, environmental science one from it was like it was pure doom and gloom. Like we learned about everything, like um how GMOs can affect humans and the environment. Yeah, that's kind of how mine was. And I got to learn about something called a mass extinction. It's the two sad thoughts. I I felt like so many times I felt like uh, quoting. Uh, some of George Carlin's uh, comedy in my class. Because I would just raise my hand and it would be something like, all these species are gone. We didn't kill them all. <laughs> um, we killed the dodo. Yeah. Oh, this is this is a good funny story about the uh, <laughs> endangered animals and stuff. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the giant tortoise. Did not have a scientific name for like a hundred years after its discovery, and the reason is, is because it's delicious. It would yeah. go, it would go back on a boat to like England, and somebody would eat it on the way over. That makes sense. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, that's a, uh, that is just terrible. Oh man! Yeah, we really didn't go much into endangered species. It's more like um, a broad generalization of what on Earth we're doing with the Earth and how 
We have no hope. So, well, yeah, we have no hope. The Earth will be fine. Yeah, I mean, the Earth We're actually... not, We won't be. But it was kind of nice. <laughs> it's a fun degree. I get to travel. Well, there you go. I got to restore. I got to restore sand dune. <laughs> you see, you could you could be like my brother and um, and get a master's in English and then we'll start a brewery. <laughs> oh god, no! I don't want to do that at school right now. <laughs> I don't mean to dissuade you from getting an education, but... <laughs> no, um, I had made the decision not to go into graduate school a while back. I'm just like, um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, it's kind of funny, because in high school, well, once again, high school, you don't really know what the hell you're saying. Yeah, that's true. It's like, I'm totally going to get a bachelor's in English and a master's in communications and be successful. The first time you're taking two different classes in your major, and you're like, ah! That was it. That was it. That was me. Like, that was like this. That was me just realizing, I hate my degree. <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, I've been going back and forth about uh, whether or not to, because uh, I want to get into to IT, and. Uh, uh, Tyler did it the right way. He he went right for his certifications, and I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna try and do this certificate thing. And I'm I've, t I've taken I'm in the middle of one class, this this crappy intro class, and I am making myself dumber in the class. I really am. Wow. I'm sitting I am sitting there, and I'm like, this is painful. This is this is stupid. And I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and do two years of classes that are going to be out of date in a month. Not gonna happen. So. What classes were they? It's it was it's this intro to IT crap um, and it's it's one and I'm like this is stupid why am I doing this oh to look it on a resume no I won't but just be like oh looks like you wasted your time for two years <laughs> yeah that was me with the English jigo when it finally when I finally snapped and said I finally snapped and said you all conceited jerks bye <laughs> I'm gonna go get a degree that will maybe get me a job higher chance than an English degree. Oh, you were doing English. Yeah, I was doing English, and it was, oh. it was kind of a mistake changing like to such an extreme because it's like, okay, well, your math credit doesn't count anymore. Yeah. Some of, some of the sciences you took doesn't count anymore. I have my own uh, rants, and I think they're in other hangouts about the educational system in this country, but... Wait till you hear about the Texas educational system. <laughs> that that implies that they have one. <laughs> well, we are allowed to teach evolution at least. <laughs> Probably took a few thousand years for that. Hundred mm. decades, whatever. <laughs> and that's U.S. education right there. <laughs> at its finest. So. We'll see what the new year brings. I'm going to try to get on Jeopardy. <laughs> okay. I've been trying for three years. Well, I'll tell you what. If you don't know the final Jeopardy question, do something to shout out the uh, the YouTube art community. <laughs> I will shout it out. Now that you bring it up, I will be like, hey, watch us trash the U.S. educational system. <laughs> it's like... Uh, Lucas, your answer? Uh, um, uh, YouTube um, artists? I'm sorry, that's going to cost you. <laughs> and you wagered? Oh, nothing. You're safe. <laughs> that's, that's what drives me crazy, is when people just throw out an answer and they actually wager something. It's like, why were you doing that? Well, you know I, you're not right. <laughs> um, I found out that if you have less than $1,000 and you lose a lot of money, that they do give you at least $1,000 as a constellation prize. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Well, that is uh, good to know. It's kind of funny because like, it's happened twice where um, the answers were Doctor Who and Anne Rice were like, I went jumping on the sofa screaming at the people that didn't know the answer. 
It's like, what is uh, wrong with you? Don't you watch TV? <laughs> no, they're educated. <laughs> educated? <laughs> I don't watch TV. Uh, no, they do watch TV. They watch PBS. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. I watch it sometimes. <laughs> I, I'll walk by, and it'll be on. And I'll be like, yeah, okay, whatever. I'll just walk past again. <laughs> Sadly, they stopped showing the joys of painting. I was like, what the hell, PBS? What? Yeah. They stopped? Yeah. They're starting some wood show now. Oh. That, that was on for a long time. He, I, mean, I mean, he died in like the 90s. <laughs> it was That's still true. on. It has over 20 seasons. You can find clips of him on YouTube, but you usually can't find whole episodes either. Yeah, That's YouTube's like shockingly really strict on what you can put up on Bob Ross. It's like, um, you can't put up what episodes. Well, because it's everything's owned by like his son, and he's, you know, copyrights yeah. and crap. No, but I'm shocked that they actually have watchdogs for like him, like one of the smallest things. Yeah. But you know. And like whenever, it's kind of funny because like a few of my videos are banned in Germany because of copyright <laughs> issues. Yeah, international copyrights kind of get crazy. And then like they blocked one of my videos in the U.S. because of like the same reason. It's like, um, I don't think using a Smashing Pumpkin song breaks any copyright laws. Uh yeah, it does. <laughs> if if it, if you're si if you're signed on a record, anything that's a record label signed. No, but here's the thing. It lets me get away with um, putting the singles in the videos. Like, if I put singles, I can you can view it on mobile devices. If it's, like, an extra song on a CD that isn't a single, it's like, nope, can't view it on the in Germany or on a tablet. Hmm. Weird. They were, they were really pissy recently about uh, a video that I did, it, I did a uh, mix for, too, which sucks. So like I I went in and and you know pulled most of the audio myself, I mean, used a couple of samples but not terrible, and they're like no you can't do this and I'm like I own everything in here and they're like no, so I I'm not allowed to monetize it at all. Those jerks. And, and I was like what the hell and I the thing like I went through I did I did the written copyright claim or whatever I sent them like a PDF file no they still didn't like it, and I was like okay just decided to be really pissy about that one. And it was a re-upload too, so it's like, well, what the hell do I do now? I can't re-upload again. That would be ridiculous. It's like, you give us your first one, and we'll see what we can do. That's horrible sense of humor. I'm sorry. <clears throat> All right, learned a couple things on this one. Let me take a look at uh, see if we have any comments. Oh man, we have a couple. <sighs> we have Kiro Games, who I guess is a uh, something somebody that has changed their name to something else because I don't uh, recognize it. Oh, it's oh my god, <laughs> it's Kieran. <laughs> Awkward. Wow. Holy Karen, go bake me a pie. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. It's got to be at least a year. That's crazy. Welcome back. Great to hear from you. Wow. <clears throat> huh. I guess you may, may or may not still be borrowing his brother's computer. Maybe you have, maybe you have one of your own now. He's been in school a lot. I, I, I don't know. How do you know? Because I see him on Facebook. I guess you see everybody on Facebook. And his you mom brags me? about him all the time. <laughs> Her baby boy. You're, ju you're just stalking everybody, I guess. Not me. You're a Facebook stalker. No, yeah, me he, he's my friend on Facebook. So I see what okay. he posts on Facebook about his school and cooking and stuff like that. 
That's why I tell him to go make me a pie. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were just randomly telling him. Like, nah, he's going to school. To, I think he wants to be a pastry chef. Oh, man, that's awesome. I wanted to do that when I was a kid. Well, teen. Speaking of pastries, I'm going to eat an M&M. That's not pastry. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's chocolate. Oh, any of the brown ones are chocolate. It's a it's a pretzel M and M. It's it's mixed confections. It's a blasphemy. I mean, why should we have to add a source for the comment tracker when it's the video that we're participating? Yeah, I don't in? know. It should automatically pull up the comments. That's just stupid. That's that's what that's what I think. I was I didn't know it was there because I'm like, oh, it should already be there, but it you know whatever. Luckily, it was in my copy and paste buffer, so. <coughs> okay. What shall we do next? Try to take over the world. <laughs> I like this one, but I don't know if I can... Mm, yeah, maybe. Okay, let's throw this one into some... Boxes. Video went out. Who's? Mom. Oh. Strange. Bless you. Thank you. This thingy. And dead silence. We're all busy. <laughs> oh, I thought we just let the conversation die. And I was like, oh, we let it die. I don't know. I don't know where it went. It was something about, uh, oh, it was the M&M with the pastries and that, yeah. That's right. Pastries. So it was my fault. <laughs> the life hangout has been... I don't know. What? It's yeah, Ben's could... fault. That's why. What's mm -hmm. my fault? Ben. Ben did it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. 
It's my own that's... hangout, and I can't even keep it keep you interested. That's cool. Lucas did it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Lucas has this strange picture of a chair or something on his screen, so it's Lucas's fault. Oh, I'm sorry. It's um, it's having to clean my glasses actually. That's just why I stand up. I can't really angle it so I can properly show you what I'm painting because of light reasons and shit like that. Oh crap! I swore. Oh, I did it. That's again. okay. I do it all the time here. What? <laughs> it's nothing ben new. Ben knows how to swear. Huh? Ben knows how to swear. I don't think. I don't think you. What are you doing know. to Luke? What are you doing, Lucas? What are you doing? You're corrupting him. Me? No. <laughs> no. If, any, I'm, if anything, I'm corrupting him. Huh? He corrupted me with his mild swearing. With how many times I mess up my videos and say, ah, shit. <laughs> and the video went out again. Oh, interesting. Kitty. T? Kitty, what? like, it's oh, on kitty. one of I thought I heard I'm sorry, T. I'm like, I'm like obsessed. Kitty? Yeah, I have an obsession with kitties and cats. Well, oh, thank Bimo. God you're on YouTube. That's Bimo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's my daughter's cat. He was fun. He used to, when he was a kitten, he was a lot of fun. Now he's this big, overweight mom. <laughs> He's huge. All cats become overweight. Mm. Oh, sh no, no, no. Hmm. Yeah, doing little dots on canvas is a lot harder than I thought it was. <laughs> you get a new respect for it, though, I tell you that. Yeah. Oh, darn it. Having some problems. I'm making the dots too big and it's like this huge... It's still a dot, but it's like huge. <laughs> this is a lot easier than doing it with a paintbrush, though. With a paintbrush, it's harder than it should be. Well, you just need a small brush, that's all. I have used small brushes and like um it usually ends up blending. I was like, darn it, I'm doing strokes. I watched a uh, <clears throat> I watched a TED talk recently about an artist who uh, the, the the video is called Embrace the Shake. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's about a guy who was at the Rhode Island School of Design and uh, he was doing I don't know what it was. He was do like he was doing pointillism, uh -huh. and uh, there was the dots, and, and he held the pencil so tight in his hand that eventually he did uh, he developed these um, not to paranoia, but he developed um, uh, permanent nerve damage in his wrist and in, in his hand, and so his one his or his right or left hand whatever it is that is dominant for him shakes just uncontrollably. Oh man, that's strange. And uh, he ended up quitting art for a number of years because he's like, I can't, I can't even get the lines right. And he was uh, at uh, like counseling or, or physical therapy or something. And uh, his his therapist said, Why not just embrace the shake? And so he did. And his his instead of dots, he kind of created these little scribbly lines, and now does these. Basically, short scribbles to create these like elaborate portraits and scenes, and uh, it's just really, really incredible uh, the work that he does now. It's like once I stopped um, looking at uh, limitations as limitations and saying, look, looking at them as a strength versus a weakness, uh, it like completely transformed his uh, per perception of uh, uh, of what he could do, and and so he he did a number of pieces. Uh, with like strict limitations uh, in order to bring out something greater in the work in the work itself. That so it was awesome. it was really cool. It's definitely worth watching. Um, 
You know what, I can probably, since they're letting you post links in the comments now, I think I'll post a link to that over in the comments. <coughs> um, uh, open that up. Uh, so roll over to there. Uh, let's go find it. There he is. <coughs> yeah, you can actually probably find it on my channel in my recent uh, history. But uh, there it is. Uh, Phil Hansen embraced the shake, as uh, it says there in the comments now. So you can go back and ch check that out later. Um, I probably will because that actually does sound interesting. It's yeah, it's it's well worth the time. It's you know like a standard you know eighteen to twenty minute TED talk, but uh, it's uh, it, it's just a really uh, it's a great uh, idea. And then there was one just before that I watched that was uh, called How to Steal Like an Artist, <laughs> um, and it was about how uh, no ideas are actually original. Everything everyone's bush borrowing off of each other. It's true. Um, and uh, it was something about uh, uh, this guy sent out an image to his um, whatever his director of whatever he was you know uh, sending it to the person who commissioned the image. <clears throat> and they said something like, "Oh, this isn't all that original." Something about cutting out words and putting them together. And so he went back like every uh, you know, twenty to fifty years and found somebody that was doing a similar thing, uh, all the way back to like the printing press. <laughs> So he's like, well, I guess we've all been in a constant line of stealing art. <coughs> That's true. So. It's so. not that they're stealing art. It's that they think their idea is yeah. an original, but it isn't, even if they've never seen that other artist's work before. Because as human beings, we sometimes have similar yeah. thoughts, wants, and desires a and lot of, ideas. Um, a lot of people will say, oh, this comedian stole this joke from that guy. It's like, no, they probably didn't. They probably just saw the same thing and worked it into the joke the same way. Because a lot of jokes are actually based on events that happen in a comedian's life or yeah. something that they observe. Yeah. That's true, because like, um, I know that George Lopez hated Carlos Mencia because like, he stole my act. It's like, guys, this very <laughs> typical Mexican life consists of what both of you went through. Yeah, and you know, occasionally you might see something that it lines up. Uh, what what uh, a good example of this? There's a uh, an HBO uh, special uh, on YouTube that uh, it's it's not supposed to be there, but you know, <laughs> and it's uh, Ricky Gervais, Chris Rock, um, Jerry Seinfeld, and Louis C.K. Sitting, sitting around just talking about the business of comedy. And one thing that they uh, both uh, one of the two of the guys, Seinfeld, and one of the other ones, they bring up something about uh, uh, some some joke, and they and Seinfeld says, "I had a similar bit," and that's the thing. It's like they're they're doing their own thing in different places, but they make the same observation, and you know, come up with you know really similar jokes. And uh, I, with artists, it's it's really the same way too, because you get. And I think the the end of that talk was uh, something about. Uh, not, as an artist, you're not necessarily stealing somebody else's work, but you know, you're, you're building off of these ideas, and you know, every time it's done again, it's done again a little differently, and it's done again in that you know, own artist's unique style in their own unique way. So you're not necessarily copying; you're just sort of uh, retelling a story that's already been told. Yeah, I think that has a lot to do with um, what you want. To do, because I know when I was younger, I did a lot of stuff that I was inspired by from John and Vasquez, and I got really bored with that stuff as an adult. So I was like, okay, what else can I do? <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. I was trying to I was trying to reach for the, the mute button, but I didn't make it. Okay, <clears throat> so back to this. Now that comes up.
Okay, I think I'm almost ready to attempt a, a, sk a sketch that isn't a study. Yay! Got a couple of these structures together. I think I might do one more study just to kind of get uh, a hang of something. Because I want to do something that's <coughs> both... Bless you. Uh, uh, no, that was a cough, actually. <laughs> I take it back then. <coughs> yeah. Whatever. <laughs> so, uh, I, I want to try something that uh, has sort of these natural rock elements, but I want to do something that has like this little bit of, uh, I guess you could call it magic, some sort of a gl embery glow of like a color. Um, okay. Granted, that'll uh, change and vary. I saw this uh, picture on DeviantArt. I don't know if I did a sketch of it in here or not uh, recently, but uh, it was this... A mountain that kind of had these little particle-y things coming off of it. Uh, nah, I don't have it in here. Oh, dear. <laughs> so I want to try and do something uh, with a similar idea about uh, pushing for this uh, much more epic uh, wide landscape. That's the, that's the weird thing about landscapes. Is every now and then I'm like, oh, I'm out of ideas. I can't think of anything else. I've, I've done everything I can do, and I'm out of... No, I keep coming up with stuff. That's awesome. I've always... I do... I like to paint landscape. It's like... I always feel awful when I'm doing this. like, great. This isn't good enough. Yeah. Well, I, I try not to judge a <clears throat> work before I'm done with it. Because I can, that can off. Because you can be halfway through it. This is like, well, you're halfway through it. You're obviously not gonna. Well, it's not gonna look good angry. halfway through. Um, but, I, I just like to say that landscapes is not my personal expertise. I mean, it's yeah, I mean, really I, nice, but I'm more of a portrait person. Yeah, and I, I'm actually kind of the opposite. I, I can think in the in the shapes of uh, the rocks and trees and stuff, but I cannot grasp the shapes of faces. I can't. <laughs> I mean, it's not that. I mean, I probably could have tried harder, but I just, I hate it. <laughs> well, you used to have some videos, like, you did anime drawings, and I was like, Yeah, that's, any of those were, d like, literally direct line-for-line line copies. <laughs> and it proves that I can copy, but I can't, you know. Come with the original stuff. I've got about a thousand uh, Proko videos sitting in, in my... Uh, uh, in my watch later list, and they're just in there. You know, I'm like, yeah, I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> I'm gonna be right back. I think I have to wash something. <laughs> yeah, um, it's vague. No, um, this little thing here got clogged up, and it's connected to a tube of paint that dries really fast. And it's like, oh, it dried. I have to wash something. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> Keep saying I need a drink and I don't get a drink. Uh, there's my water. It's <clears throat> a lot of grays to it. I don't think so. Appreciate that. Tell you what I appreciate.
Hello, Rainbow Angel. How are you? It's fine, fine, Glad name somebody is watching the comments, because I'm sure as hell not. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not the right one anymore. Because <clears throat> my comments aren't even updating. Yay! <laughs> I gotta re add the source, I guess. Or something. Why does my camera look out of focus again? Once again. I don't, I don't even have autofocus on. That's the thing. Is I, I've specifically made it go, and it's just not going. Lucas's fault. <laughs> there we go. That looks better. <coughs> And we want to grab... Where was I going? Oh, this way. <laughs> Where did I go? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I was going. And you're officially lost. Lost? Lost. Call up your Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> it's Rainbow Angel Production. Does anyone like cookies? I love cookies. Ah! Don't tempt. Don't do that to me. How dare you? <laughs> How often does this tracker update? I don't know, but. Uh, there we go. Not often enough. Yeah. Oh, shit. Where did I put it? <laughs> so I'm going to have to hold them off on the side. And keep them over there. And do something over here. Hopefully those will update. Hello. Hi. You're here. I know. It took me forever. <laughs> I was on the phone. Well, way to be on the phone. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey. Um. Uh, some screens. Crazy pieces of pink paper. So I missed a whole bunch. What? No, I haven't not, been working. Not that long. really. Yeah, I missed like 40 minutes. That's a lot. We've only been going for like that long. I know. I've been watching while laying in bed on the phone. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. So. so now you're just uh, so now you're, uh I don't know. <laughs> Something. I am back from the grave. <laughs> back from the Welcome grave. Back. What were you doing in the grave? Mm. <laughs> laundry. Laundry. <laughs> <laughs> you do your laundry in the grave. Yeah, it's, not, it's kind of funny to do Good that. Good place to do it. Oh, yeah, that's the one I was looking for. No, um... Oh, that one, too. Hold on. I have these little tips here that I use for pointillism paintings, and uh, it got clogged up because the paint dried, and I tried unclogging it with a mechanical pencil, and God, that didn't work out so well. I think I broke it. I've got a lot of stuff um. in here I need to work on. <laughs> I haven't done anything past two days, art wise, so I'm behind. I don't feel bad. I go, I go weeks and months without doing anything paper art wise, crafting well, wise. That's, be, I that's do because you do your, your whatever they are, crocheting. <laughs> <laughs> you crochet, just, knitting, spinning. And I've been wearing those I've gloves been, all the time. You like them, huh? I do. You and like wearing what, them what, what, down. What, I, I think I think that's the right way. I really do. I I think that you don't because there's you're supposed to have there's supposed to be fingerless. Not the, it's not supposed to come up way up to here. The long way so you can pull them over more of your fingers when it's like like you're outside. Well, then they're not fingerless so, gloves anymore. With the now, yellow up top. <laughs> <laughs> Messing up the head now. Yeah, they're still fingerless gloves. 
It's just so that you can like protect your fingers. I I will continue to wear them upside down. If you like wearing them that but, way, then but, but right side up. Continue as to I wear said. them upside down, Ben. They're they're better for driving that <laughs> way. So I can I can hold onto the wheel and then still mess with the radio. All right. <laughs> Lovely. And I'll be driving in a couple of weeks, hopefully. I know. I've been driving for two months. Yay. So I know I, know I need to stay off the road then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I could have been a while ago. I just, I'm too lazy to actually take the test. See, that was me. I was, whenever, I was, I was 17 when I got my permit. And it was because my parents were like, you're going for your test now. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just yeah. sitting around, like, say, no, you're going I'm to take it. I'm both in the Marines, and he still has to do this. I mean, you can you can get through life without it. That's what my parents make me. They won't let me. My parents won't even get a job until I get my driver's license. <coughs> that's they don't want, me, don't want to drive me everywhere like they did my brother. Yeah, that's not fair though. Yeah, that's no. I can side with your parents. I'm sorry. But <laughs> I I was driven to work for my whole first year just because I didn't have a car. Well, it's the same thing with my brother. <laughs> but he still doesn't have his, his license or even permit. He's in, he's 18 now in the Marines, about to graduate boot camp. So like. He got off lucky. I'm, su- I'm get surprised they didn't make him get one. No, because um, he's legally allowed to drive a military vehicle if he's ordered to. And <laughs> he's with, uh, he's... Oh man, that's so, crazy. Yeah. So like, um, boss, I need you to order me to go to Walmart, please. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. So then he can, he, he's actually passed it on police vehicles on it too. So he got off lucky, but I won't. Um, my parents didn't make me drive because. I could walk to high school when I was in high school, and I was just like, oh, I'm not going to have you waste gasoline. I'm homeschooled, so I don't need to do that. I was a, I was a bus kid. Yeah, I hear too many bad stories about the buses. <laughs> well, it depends on where you are. Wow. Yeah. I'm West Virginia. You know. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with the wood next. Right. pretty... <laughs> I am having tequila with the Mexicans <laughs> because right I am one. Well, not right now. I mean, oh. it's Thanksgiving. You have wine with Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, I had cranberry soda. Yep. It tastes like a, a fruity beer, though. It really does. <laughs> I suppose. Because only well, times you don't really care for wine, so I just you're take. You're a wild, beer. you're a wild and crazy drinker, there. I know, right. We need to do an online intervention. I don't care yeah. for wine. No, that would be me. <laughs> exactly. I love wine, but I can't drink it anymore. My liver doesn't oh, it like it anymore. Yeah. It makes me sick. I can't do it because it makes me sick. <laughs> so. you got to get more natural stuff yeah. without all the sulfates. Well, legally, I can't do it any, either yeah, way. Yes, so. I know. I'm, I'm sitting there I'm like, wait a minute. You can't even drive. And you're... Something just <laughs> Hey, you're you're, you're, day, you're the one publicly saying it online, so don't don't blame me if you get in trouble. Wait, who's you, gonna get in trouble? You taught me how to mix my drinks. <laughs> I watch your videos. You taught me how to mix drinks in the background. Wait, you have to go to the internet to learn how to mix drinks. I thought you went to. Oh, I was going to Oh, I'm scored. That's right. <laughs> you're, 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 no, you're, coming no to, you're coming to me to learn, I guess. Yeah. No one drinks my family, really, so. Oh, that's good. Mm, yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> well, not, you know. You <laughs> Bad then. Uh, my long can, as long as it's, you know, it's, it's moderation. It is moderation. moderation. But, they get every once in a while, I get a, a free DPO, but that's a, nothing more than that. I'm struggling with my card was here. <laughs> I gotta say, though, I mean... A lot of people are like, "Oh, I, I'm too young to drink, and it's a restriction." It's it's really not. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. Cause I have fun to do it. And they're underage. You can't. you you physiologically, your your body just cannot handle that at like even a lot. I mean, you can't. I mean, mm-hmm. it's you could like, oh, I can handle it. whatever. You can mentally do it as much as you want, but no. you know. I have no friends who cannot handle it, and they don't. They drink too much, thinking they could handle it. It's like there's a reason why it's supposed to be, you're supposed to be 21 or over. Your body doesn't handle it too well until a certain age. 
And even then, it's like if, if you're not. It doesn't matter your age, yeah. your body, and your brain is, uh -oh. is poison. <laughs> yeah. You see, that's what I say. It's like it's poison to your brain, and you're doing good anyways. But now I stopped caring. Yeah. Well, a glass of wine every day is supposed to be healthy for you, but that's only that's right. after you're 21. Because you, yeah. you still grow up to 21. I feel like it's, it stops the growth. I, I know it was 25 20. actually, but whatever. males can still grow up 21. to 25. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Most 20. females stop around 16 or 17. I might make six foot then. <laughs> no, you, you, not, not that not that kind of growth. <laughs> it all depends on it when your growth plates fuse. So if your growth oh, I, plates fuse early, then you stop growing. And, and, and can't, uh, in in, in, in my face. case, you can't count losing hair as growth. That's that's not right. I feel like I'm going to go bald. Cause like you can, a lot of people you can blame your mom for that. Being no, I can't. That's just it. I can't. My mom's side of the family has hair. Yes, but you inherit the genes oh. from your mom. No, the, the, there, there is no gene over there. That, it's, 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 a lie. it's a lie. It's an absolute <laughs> lie. It's yeah. exactly opposite for me. My, my mom's side of the family, all the skinny, tall guys over there are all bald. I'm like, oh no. Like, well, See, now my brother well, takes out off of uh, my mom's side of the family, and he has hair. Well, more than I do anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you. I thought you didn't have hair for like on choice. And again, I thought you were like thirty years old for a long time too. Yeah, I get that a lot. For me. Not that I'm oh, you know, complaining. I, I'll, I'll, it's I'll a good thing around. and bad thing. I like my jeans. Um, I recently just turned twenty-four and I got carded to go see a rated R movie. I was like, what? <laughs> I watch rated R movies now. But like, I enjoy it while because you can. Because they are covered in paint. <laughs> enjoy it while you can. Thank you. I am enjoying it. I'm just like... I'm confused right now. I don't know what color I do. It turns white. I'm on a <laughs> race, so that's why. Oopsies. Uh, I'm, I'm not used to digital art still. I'm working on it. Um, I don't do digital. I don't do anything. I just started doing it. I just doodle. <laughs> I'm a doodler. This is like my first digital art I've done of a full body, probably. Yeah, I don't like to do full body art. It's like too much effort that I'm not willing to put. <laughs> well, I do animated much. characters and stuff, so working how I do, do them digitally is actually most likely better for me because it's a pain to That's do it. That's where the industry is. Yeah. Yeah. So. And it makes me cry every night when I go to sleep. <laughs> My what? talent is useless to most people. <laughs> what? Traditional? Yeah. No, it's not. Oh. I love traditional. I mean, I like doing it, but I don't like doing it. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> it's a pain. It's a pain to do. It's well, much easier for me to sketch with a thousand mini pixels. Digital is, is, I think, quicker in a lot of ways. I, I find it easier to sketch um. stuff. Cause then I, I'm not wasting paper because my, my, my paper is really expensive. I don't want to shop on my pencil every two cents. It's two seconds. I can't speak now. Yeah. <laughs> can't and, um, speak. It's free. Can't <laughs> I know. Once it, once I got a tablet in the program, it's free pixels forever. So yeah. That's the thing is, is the initial investment is higher for digital, but once you mm. got once you have it, you're you're good for like for a long time. I yeah, I, I mean, I want to like an upgrade, but I've yeah. tried digital so many times. I'm just like, I can't do this. And honestly, you don't even need you don't even need a program. Just get the tablet. The program you can find some Google tablet. for free. I do use um, I do have an art program for tablet, but um, what I, it's like this art program, and like the only reason why I use it is because like it lets me do symmetrical work. So just like if I want to do an anime drawing, I use that. Yeah. I gave and, um, my daughter my Wacom, and I got a yeah. cheaper tablet because I wasn't using the Wacom, and she's a full time art student. I figured she would use it more than I would. Yeah, that's really nice. I have of my you. bamboo. I have my bamboo rock. I've got you. I've got a tablet that's so old that it's it's yeah. How can a tablet be I old? Use my I used to just like five Ooh. years ago. Oh, uh, let's no tablets have been around. Technology a long time. is old after like two years. Okay, my, this is my tablet. Technology is old after like the first. Which I got from Greg uh, oh. about oh I guess it'd be about five years ago. <laughs> oh, you oh gosh. that kind of ah. tablet. <laughs> It's, I it's yeah. like about. This is a no, very old uh, Wacom. I think this is Graphire 4. Webcam turned off. Oh, is it? 
Yeah. Oh, what the heck? Just, uh, there you go. You're back. That guy's back. Yeah. Okay. Weird. But yeah, I think it's a Graphire Four. Okay, that's what you guys went by tablet. I thought you were talking about like iPads, like and Android tablets. And stuff. Oh no, that's yes. Yeah, that, that's what drives me crazy. Is like, oh, like everyone's like, hey, these are tablets. Like, no, those are not tablets. <laughs> I'm sorry. Those are tablets. <laughs> that, that's what, that's what people tablet. say. I want a new tablet. It's like, well, what kind? <laughs> well, like, um, I'm, I'm like, oh, that kind. What kind's that? Uh, you say, so, wait, I'm like, what OS is that running? Um, <laughs> mine isn't it? Mine is was the the big one. The big one. Yeah. The big one. Yeah, I forgot how big. It, it's like the 11 by 17, big like that. Is it black? No, it's the silver gray one. I got it when I was oh. um, finishing up school in 2007. Oh. And I was finishing up my degree. And I wasn't using mm. it, and it works perfectly fine with all the different new software and stuff. So oh, how dare you eat the cookie? Yeah, I have my gray silver Wacom, I think, creative tablet, and I've had it for a year, and I didn't start using it until this drawing. But you, can you guys see this, by the way? Making um, sure. No, yeah. we see yeah. the big eye. Okay, Shut I'm making sure. I, I, got it. I got it back now. Okay. Because everyone knows this webcam keeps oh, going on and off. I really want to read you the hair because it bothers me. Mm. Needs to be yeah. more flowy. No, this JJ is, is watching us. She's not feeling good. So uh -oh. She's watching. She ate too much pie. I don't know. Lucky. Not pie oh, I'm going to make that pie that's sitting in the freezer. Oh, well. You can make, you can make it for us. <laughs> oh my God, so have you so seen... I... Do you know if... um, What's that child's name? Ugh. Forgetting children's names. Jeez. Uh, not my children. <laughs> Your friend. Your friend, the one that gave you the tablet. Oh, Greg. Yeah. Do you know if Greg wears his hat? Oh, I don't know. He has don't a Jane. Much anymore. He has a, a Jane um a Jane hat from Firefly. That's what he got oh. last year. Nice. I th I think he does, but I I don't see him a whole lot because we all have our own separate lives. Oh, so. Uh -huh. He's funny though. I feel like once I go to college, I'm gonna lose like all my friends. I'm kind of worried about that. Yeah, you are, but you'll make new friends. I don't have many. I don't have many to start off with, so losing some of what is. As long as you have social media, you really won't lose them. Yeah, but you will. <laughs> but you won't see them. Yeah. No, I think I'm gonna lose them. <laughs> like you can keep. They don't, them. <laughs> they don't want it's, me. It's actually it's actually kind of funny because I keep in contact with people from high school that I didn't think I would. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it's like it's like people were like, I'm gonna, you're my friend, and I'm gonna keep it. Like those are the people you're gonna lose, and the people you're just like, yeah, I kind of know you. Those are the people mm -hmm. that are like gonna become your friends more, which is so weird. But the um, back in in private school for elementary school and stuff, I didn't have Facebook. I was not to get Facebook to this year, so when I got it, I invited all my people from elementary school. None of them wanted to talk to me. None of them. They accepted my well, friend invite. Like, <laughs> like, they boy I, yeah. I thought you were mean to me. He's like, I wasn't mean. I was a five year old. How was I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. I I mean, know, and every every time you go on oh. to something new in life, your your network changes. You know, yeah. whatever. So you can only really be friends with you know a certain group of people. So, but I got you, you guys. You can. I got you. What? <laughs> oh yeah, that's the, that's the thing. Is is I was lacking the art community for so long. And then once we started doing the hangouts, I'm like, this is this is huge. I've been missing this because I haven't I been able to. Gather in this com like community of artists for such a long time, and it's it's essential. Mm -hmm. It really is. I still want to do a hangout of title. You can get titles all track in here. I'm a fanboy so much. <laughs> oh, I was watching it. something a couple months ago, and then I stopped and I sat back in my chair. I'm like, oh my god, I'm a fangirl. <laughs> <laughs> was it Yaoi? Yeah, <laughs> Oh man! You're a fan. Was it One Direction? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it was One Direction. Oh, 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 I no. um. Oh, I know what it was. <laughs> Doctor Who. Um, no. Oh, that show. Yeah. I uh. I recently, <gasps> I would say within the past six months, started really watching uh, uh the Vlog Brothers. Uh, uh, you guys know the Vlog Brothers? 
Oh, uh, I've heard of they've them. Been, they've been doing YouTube videos. Uh, it's John and Hank Green, uh, and they've back in 2008 uh, when YouTube was first really starting to pick up. Um, <coughs> they started a project together, and they're, and they're two brothers and their thirds. And they're, they're, for one year, they decided to uh, communicate only back and forth through videos every day for a year. No emails, no phone calls, nothing. Just videos back and forth. And this community mm-hmm. built up around them, and they're you know one of the you know top uh, subscribed uh, people on YouTube now. Anytime I think uh, of brothers on YouTube, I always think the fine brothers because that's what <laughs> everyone thinks. Uh, the the uh, the vlog brothers, uh, Hank and uh, the two of them created a number of other channels. There's uh, SciShow, Crash Course, um, Hank's channel, channel, Hank Games. Uh, mental floss. Mental floss. Oh, where's the other one? There's, there's you know, probably another one. Uh, the two of them together created the VidCon uh, convention. Oh, um, big. But anyway, so I started. I, I mean, I knew they were there, and I, I kind of got in, and I started watching the videos. And uh, <clears throat> the older brother, uh, John, is was in Pittsburgh working on a movie. Uh, that he that he he wrote the book and they're they they're doing a movie adaptation, mm-hmm. and um, uh, a friend of mine uh, posted on Facebook saying, "I found John Green." It was a picture of her and and John Green, like they the huge like she went to wherever he was filming, I guess, and found him, mm-hmm. and got a picture with him. And I was just scrolling down my my Facebook feed one one morning, and I saw the picture. And I was like, "Oh look, John Green!" And I stopped, and I proceeded to. Hold my arms very close to my chest. Oh my god! Uh, kind of like a T Rex. <laughs> uh, and then, with uh, jaw dropped, uh, I just kind of flailed my arms real tight together. And, <laughs> 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 All right, Dan, you're scaring me now. <laughs> the power I was just chase completely, yeah, I was <laughs> completely blown away that uh, I was like that, 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 that had happened, lost. and I was uh, it was it was so fun. Then I stopped, and I was like. Crap, I think I'm a fangirl. <laughs> I'm a fangirl oh, boy of um, them. <laughs> I'm so scared writing right now. <laughs> it's okay, you don't have That's to worry fun. until he starts writing slash fiction. Oh no, <laughs> no, no. no. He's, he's gonna ship them with himself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and then he oh, strokes my hair. And we rode into the like, sunset. Oh god. This just went oh, bad worse. <laughs> I'm start drawing, I'm holding hands Why did you have together. to go there? Because somebody this, had to. I feel, like, I feel like I need a shower now. <laughs> <laughs> I've yet to actually read a fanfic. I have fanfics read to me by my friends on Skype and stuff, but I've never read one myself. And I, I'm proud of that. Because they scale me. <laughs> yeah? Like, my friend read the, the weirdest one. I don't want to say it because we're going to keep it PG-13 here, but it was so messed up. Well, that is what <laughs> Slash Fit is all about. Being so messed up. <laughs> it's just like phew, not my stash pick. Oh, he has his own. My uh, stash pick is G-rated. That is it. <laughs> is G-rated slash? Yes, it is. Celibate they went to the slash. <laughs> celibate slash. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> um. Funny story. I have a mountain of fan fiction because in fourth grade they would always make us write four- short stories. Oh. And like um, I was obsessed with Pokemon back then, so it's just like I would write about me and my friends on adventures. Oh god, I, no I know, not Pokefe- Pokemon slash fan fiction. <laughs> no, 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 not Smash. Hey, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh, just, this has just gotten weird. It, it was just, <laughs> it was just fat, regular fan fiction, and I had no idea what fan fiction was because I didn't have the internet until I was like 13. Gotta catch them all. I still have yet to do that. <laughs> Is that what they're calling it these days? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, I can make it so much worse right now by saying some so many jokes that would be so bad. We're gonna get kicked off YouTube. No. Good. Well, there's always drinking on the channel and that kind of stuff, so. Yeah. I think my screen froze again. Dun dun dun. Yeah. Speaking of freeze, how cold is it for you guys? Cause it's like what? It's it's never done this cold. before. Oh, for not me, too bad for um, me. Well, it doesn't like you now. Yeah. 
Let's see, how cold is it here right now? Let's see. It is 30 degrees, but it feels like 26. Why you must be freezing? Mm. Are you talking about inside or outside? Uh, it's outside. Well, obviously not inside. Oh. Jeez. It's, oh, it's actually, probably whatever, uh, whatever normal temperature is in here, like 68 or whatever. I was cold until I came and popped my off, woke up, and saw getting this live stream. Now my computer is overheating. I'm not overheated, but it's getting hot. Oh. I'm warming my room up. Oh dear. Why is it overheating? What's wrong with you? No. Get a fan under that thing. Or get it off your lap. Or get it off of. Like, prop it up. It's a desktop. It's kind of quite a fan. Is it overheating? No, it isn't. I was just joking. Um, it's at 55 Celsius, the CPU. Oh, I saw a, uh, a, an Asus board thing there. <laughs> yeah, that's Asus. A custom build. Because mine's red, because mine's a ROG board. <laughs> yeah, I have my Asus graphics card, and my. I like Asus. It's, I like the brand. Yeah, it's so 54. What are you using the stock fan? Yeah. Yeah. 54 is not that high for the no, AMD process. No, it's it's not. Uh, it's not terrible. And it, it never goes over 60. You when playing Battlefield 4 when we're doing videos, it won't go over 60. I've got. Um, um, four people I've got, get a, 80. I've got a, an H55 uh, liquid cooler in there, and I don't go yeah. above 40. I don't. I don't hit above like 44 now. Oh wow! Let's see. Oh, let me take a look at what I'm idling on. I idle around 40, not 40, I idle around like 32, but in the yeah, meantime I do something, it's 50. But it's, a, it's an AMD um, 6300. Let's SS. see, I'm sitting on 33 right now. Wow, lucky. My laptop, that's, that thing actually does overheat. It hit. And, and that's with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 things running at right now, but relatively light. I don't have anything running right now, really. It's, even if I have everything running, it doesn't hit above 56 usually. So with playing yeah. Battle before or windowing, I, I think I was I, I was running in the in the upper 60s rendering rendering video uh, before I got the the liquid guy, and it was I'm like this is I think the unsettling. highest I've got on this is 61. I know it warned me at first like for spill computer, I don't want things overheating or dying faster because no hotter it is the fastest it's gonna die one day. I was like, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, turn everything off. Yeah. Um, I got I got, I got yeah. a giant fan outside blowing air into it. <laughs> um, I don't cause like and then finally like I go into the phones, everyone's like hitting seventy and eighty, just idle. It's like, I think I got lucky on mine. <laughs> People are hitting these um these tips of eighty on the stock cooler of the CPU. I'm like, I'm only hitting fifty five. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I got lucky. I well, so, well, some people, uh, I think the uh, AI suite by default has the uh, uh, top threshold at like 72 degrees. Let's see. Not my, so, if I'm going to wait. Um, where would that be? Uh, you can, you can change, it. change it. Yeah. But um, I don't think mine's up at that, though. I think mine's at 80. Because this, this CPU can go up to 90, it says, technically. So yeah. I should have it set to 90. Um, my graphics card, I love it. It never goes into any <laughs> hot area. I, I don't use. I'm not using a super new card because mm -hmm. I got when I when I built this guy, uh, I got uh, a, one of those new egg bundle deals. Yeah. Because uh, I didn't know what I was doing, and a friend of mine suggested it. It's like here, just get one of these, and and that'll be fine for your first build. My GPU is at 33 Celsius, so it's good. I don't even know what mine runs at. I don't uh, have the. Uh, I I. I I got a few utilities I want to get, but get speed fan. It, it works. <laughs> it, it's so good. Yeah, I'll have to. Let me write that one down. Um, it shows all the terms of pretty much anything, and it should be connected up. And you can control each separate fan, but you can do the other stuff. I have mine set up on automatic. Actually, just to you know, we're recording. We're live, I guess. Not recording. I was tempted to turn my fans up higher, but it make too much noise, probably. <laughs> Jamie, I am not that silly. Oh gosh. I hate when I do this with my tablet. I just turn the the thing sideways. Oh, I see. That's the thing is, I oh, wish I, I had that option. Uh, I mean, I do, but you know, I have to go in manually and, and do it that way. But yeah, but I just swipe my hand across and do this. I forget yeah. how to do this every single time. Oh, is it here? Do you do you have your? Uh, your tablet up on the desk, or do you do it in your lap? It's on my desk. I've done it in my lap before, yeah. but I don't. Yeah, I, I've been I've been doing it in my lap uh, in the yes, past, but I, I've been trying to move up to the desk just because <laughs> it seems to be 
Uh, I can't help myself but to kick my feet up on top of my desk all the time. My feet have to be above my waist level usually. It's really bad. Oh. Yeah, it the, way, the way my feet are usually are, I have a, a wall behind my desk, so my feet yeah. are up on the wall all the time. Exactly. Um, which is bad. I think, a, I think there's a spot on the wall that's like dirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, my desk is pretty thick, so it doesn't reach the, my feet won't reach the wall, but... Um, I've actually broken like put my um keyboard area that pops out of my desk by putting my feet on it. I've had to um bolt it back in a couple of times now. Um, yeah. I feel like if I get an office job and don't let me kick my feet up above the desk, I'm be so mad. <laughs> so I'd be like, I can't walk then because it just bothers me. I don't know how to fix this. This is bothering me even more. How do I do this? But uh, one of the things I was telling uh, I was telling Lucas earlier in the night about uh, Black Friday and, and how we were talking about Black Friday and how it's it's both good and absolutely terrible because you're like well it's on sale so I'll get it. Um, yeah. One of the things anything. I picked up and uh, well here let me show you here the case that I have uh, for my computer is the one okay, that came back. This thermal case and it's a little annoying because it's. Uh, uh, it's got these weird, these honeycomb holes here, which are uh, completely unnecessary. Yeah. And, uh, oh, the, there's a USB 3 port up here that uh, it's not native. It routes to the back on the on the motherboard, so I don't have uh, uh, so you one there. Old motherboard. No, I don't. I have, I have a one that has USB 3 compatible. It's it's an older case that doesn't uh, uh, have a, a plug in. Yeah. And so uh, I was watching some of Linus Tech Tips videos and scrap mm -hmm. uh, in the past couple months, and uh, he was showing out the uh, the Corsair 350D. Oh no, uh, that's so nice. and, I almost got that case for mine. And I and I I picked it up. Um, no. Uh, yeah, I bought it yesterday, so it'll be coming in the mail. But I won't have time to do a build of it until probably the week of Christmas. Will you do a video? I, I'm, I, I guess I'm doing a video because there isn't any. There, there. I don't think there's any ones, anyone out there that are doing builds in those right now. Um, so the, at the, least not too many. The factor all three, I think, or all four is like one that everyone's doing it now, which I kind of want now. But it has no window. Yeah. I, I want a window. I should don't have a window now. <laughs> I had cheap out on my build because I only had I had budget, so I had cheap out on some stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm getting my second graphics card though, hopefully for Christmas. <laughs> so, so I can SOI my my 650s. Cause I, no, I, I I went, don't, uh... I'm hoping my power supply can keep up with it though. I feel like it won't be able to. I'm, I'm really what, uh, what? How big is it? Uh, 620 watt. Uh, yeah, you'll, you'll probably be all right. If everyone says it is, but at the same time, like, it will always me. No. My, my LEDs and my lights, which I don't like having them on anyway, but I can't turn them off. Um, yeah. it's starting to flicker now, which worries me. It's like, it's like, it's like enough power. Hmm. Like, that with a bulb itself what? is going out. Okay. Another thing I worry about, though, you have both ASUS and have the aftermarket CPU on them, which is really uh -huh. good. Um, cool on them. It's Rainbow unworthy. Angel, it was nice having you here. Thanks for joining in and tuning in. Don't leave yet. <laughs> Thank you for taunting me with your cookies. I want cookies um. now, too. So anyhow, uh, I, I got the I got the case. I'm gonna do a, a build video that'll probably that'll probably won't be up till like January. And the, and the pro what, I've been both hesitant to do it, and um, and wanting to do it for a while. And then when when the 350 came out, because uh, I was gonna get the 650, which is actually bigger than the one I've got. And the 350 makes it a little bit it. smaller, which is nice. And uh, that, so the, three, the 350 came out, and I was just like, what? This is crazy. Yeah, is it the 800D, the, the super large one, like the largest manufacturer uh, the, case? Well, I think there's a 900D now. That's what it is, 900D. Which is even huge. It's, it's so huge. It's no, yeah. There's no reason for it. This guy, this guy on YouTube, he's a excessive article. His name's Jay's Two Cents. Um, I love his videos, and he's got yeah, it, and yeah, I, it looks so good. Oh, yeah, got it. <laughs> so, anyhow, so I got that, I got that coming in, and... The the reason I've been hesitant because the the my main it's my main computer and I'm gonna have to do a complete teardown and rebuild uh, I know. into the new case and it's I'm I'm gonna love it but I'm also dreading it because I'm gonna be down uh, probably yeah. for a couple of days. A couple of days. Uh, Everyone says it takes a couple of days so that you're forced to no, it cool. it'll, it, it'll, it'll probably take me an afternoon but I have to have the time, you know. Yeah. And I and it's I guess and I'm gonna save. Off, so. 
I'm going to save a little bit of time. I don't have to, you know, I don't have to put the, the CPU in. I can leave the RAM in. So it's um, just kind of about uh, unplugging uh, and, or, and organizing. I won't take the CPU, CPU out in general. Just take the motherboard out. Well, because I have to get my, uh, I have to get the uh, the uh, liquid cooler off, and then reapply oh. the thermal paste. Yeah. Meh. And oh yeah, and the other thing was with that because I have uh, my my card reader is a I don't have that. is a, is a, is a, it's it's a small one. It's the it's the mm-hmm. three uh whatever three and a quarter inch bay, and the three fifty yeah. doesn't have any of these, so I had to get an adapter so it it would fit in a bigger one. That's great. So that's that's the thing. It's like I the I, I may have gotten the case on sale, mm-hmm. but I needed to get a couple other things to go with it just to you know, kind of make everything work right. Yeah, that was my problem with um with um CPU choices. Like I can get the i5 for two hundred dollars, or I can get the uh, with the or I can get the AMD sixty sixty hundred. But yeah. things sixty hundred, everyone says it's going to overheat. It's really hard to get after my CPU. And after if I did get aftermarket CPU along with it, then it would be as much as the i5. Um, I didn't See, know. The, you know, you never know because the uh, the H fifty five is the low is the low end one. H it's actually now. Doing those ones, doing H sixties now. I think it was oh, really? production fifty five. Uh, yeah, weird. Kind of I, I got a really limited edition thing, don't I? Anyway, really. um, but anyway, the low end one, which is yeah. significantly less, mm-hmm. and I, to me, I think it's it's well worth it, um, especially doing I might, video editing and that kind of thing. Yeah, I might have to get that because um, my case is a very cheapish case. By um, <laughs> who did mine? Just make sure you have um, room for it. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't. I have people say the Cooler Master Evo, which is 149. So let me. Uh, one of I'll see if I can um, get uh, get it in the window there. Yeah, uh, one window on one. Too bad. I have to look through the fans to see what's in mine because I love looking at my computer. I don't want. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Is, um, is part of my part of my thing is I love having the window just because I like being able to sit there and look at it. it seems kind of weird. Just, and, <laughs> no, it isn't. Understandable. It's driving me crazy. Like, it keeps trying to switch settings. Switch. Mm. Switch. Oh, I'll well, change your settings. Up at the top. It's like you know, I put it on the camera setting I want, but it keeps switching back to the CyberLink UCAM setting, and it's freaking driving me crazy, man. <laughs> I'm hoping to get a new web. Cam for Christmas, along with a new microphone. I'm getting a Blue Yeti microphone, hopefully. I'm excited Let's take for that. A look at what I can do here. And I it's am. It's gonna get a little back. glare there, but you can see it for the most part. Um, and, and the other, the other problem with the case is that it doesn't have any cable management holes like the, like the other one. Oh. And so everything's uh, just everywhere. Yeah, I get. I bought my case. I was like, everyone says it's gonna be great cable management. Well, it was my first build, so and I was rushing it too because I really I was excited uh, and very void. There so we go. That's pretty close. <laughs> the thing. Yeah, what graphics card you got going on now? Oh, what is that thing? It's an older model, uh, ASUS Radeon thing. I have to wait on my own. Okay. AMD. Well, it's uh, ASUS aftermarket. Um, yeah, I noticed that because it looks the same as mine, the heat pipes. Um, it is a 6850, I think. That sounds right. That's very but, cool. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't play new games, really. Sure. So I play old games with, like, ultra graphics. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, my, my go-to game a lot of times is, uh, is Unreal Tournament 2004. Um I yeah, which, I, which I played I in college. Them. I played in college for a while, and it's it's good. It's really yeah. good, and it runs on uh, it runs natively on Windows Seven, which is great. Um, Windows Seven for the win. And, uh, it, Ooh, I, Windows I used 8. to play it in. It was it was my college seminar. We we would get the whole hall playing, uh, wow. and, and and set up on the LAN. So it was like a LAN party, but everyone was in their room. Uh, all the way down the hall, and we're shouting each other down the hall. No, no, get in the tank, get in the tank. <laughs> so uh, I should move it off of me. Uh, so I'm gonna stop drawing for a while. I'm in the midst of uh, yeah, 
I had to check the soap, my Minecraft soap real quick. Crap now. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so. if, if you want to upgrade though, like if you want to play actual games. Being, yeah, I would know. need a. Well, well, actually, no. The, the newest thing I have right now is the new Sim City, but it's it's got some pretty low requirements. So yeah. I'm, even that, I'm able to max out on that card. Well, if you want to play like Five uh, Falls, and I, I suggest the no. the R9 280, not the Xbox, but the 280. It's also AMD. So if you like that, congrats. Yeah, I'm not. Um, uh, I I am. I do rather like the AMD, AMD cards I've seen. Um, I don't video. Um, but that AMD card is this the new model the that new came one. out. The new oh one. gosh, it kills. Yeah, that's, that's no, so it's only two hundred dollars for this one, and it goes ultra. Well, to me, it is. Two hundred dollars is cheap for graphics cards. They can play ultra on. It plays bad yeah, for. I mean, it's not a Titan. Who wants, wants that? Um. <laughs> well, that's that's the thing is that that like I don't know a few months after they released the Titan, they got the whatever the mm -hmm. next gen. Uh, Seven eighty. Uh, GTX cards, and, it, yeah. and it's better. Or it's 780 so it's like, is... I kind of feel bad for oh, yeah. it. Um, J2 sends the a rage about it. And then he bought the 780. Yeah, 680, and he bought the 780. And then like, a week later, the 780 Ti came out, and he, got, he made another video raging about that. Yeah. Okay. So funny. <laughs> I, I, I have to put in a disclaimer for all you non techies out there, because I know we're yeah. boring you to death if you are. Yeah. Um, the GTX Titan yeah. is a video card, I think it's what, 4 gig video card. That Six. is like twelve hundred dollars, <laughs> and it's no, just, it's completely out, it's completely outrageous to to even have, have bought that. Like you, if you bought it and put it in your system, oh my video dropped. Why? Why did my video um, drop? There you go. It, it's six gigabytes, not full. Oh oh, well, still still overpriced. Yeah, it's six. Um, and it's a thousand dollars. Yeah yeah definitely. Back. Oh yeah. But I it's supposed to be like a off. low end um. Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be a low end. Um, There's not a lot of video problems calls. tonight. It really is supposed to be a gaming call. It's meant <laughs> for. Uh, 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 Ain't gonna talk about tech stuff or look at tech stuff on my computer. My computer just starts crashing. Like it doesn't want to be upgraded. <laughs> that would new egg just it's doesn't like me. Ignoring our target audience. Um, uh, I'm yeah. sorry. We should, we should, I've seen four-way tight and there's no... Yeah. Oh, there's no reason for that. Yeah. So these bus jokes... No, I'm uh, sorry. Yeah, no, isn't. Um, so Anyhow. these bus jokes, they're, um, they're made by my, my 650. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking about tech. Nice, nice segue. I'm sorry, nice I'm never sorry that, that guy. guys. I know. Hmm, I should never get to talk about tech because so no one's small enough to talk about See all the paintings up on the wall. There they are. Anyway, so the the source back there on the wall, the the cave painting I was talking about earlier, um, can't really yeah. see it. Uh, your webcam's off. It's well, it's on, it's it's on the other yeah, wall. Your webcam is off. It's off. Oh, no, you might just be getting some vibe. Yeah, it's going on. There it goes back on. It's like I'm saying, it's going on and off for all of you guys. You know what? I'm gonna do something drastic. I'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in again. <gasps> oh, beware! So um, Google Plus on YouTube. Uh, He's enjoying the Google Plus on YouTube comment system. Uh, yeah, you know, the what comment you know? system is probably what's screwing up the freaking video. I wouldn't be surprised. Definitely not as bad as. Um, not as bad. Uh, I'm just not even getting it now. Not even turning on now. Oh, Lovely. Crap. I might, I might have just made it worse. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Awkward. But um, the the Google Plus comment system it doesn't affect me because I get like one to two comments per video, so not really a problem for me. I don't but get comments. <laughs> exactly. I feel you. I haven't uploaded in five months yeah. though, so I kind of deserve no comments. Yeah, I mean it's uh, if you haven't upgraded by now, do it. Um, because the the way they're, they're they have. Yeah, yeah I was here. gonna say you're you're forced to. So, but more or less. W the only thing that bothers me now is anything that was any comment that was in the old system you can't reply you, to now. You can't reply to them. You can't. No. no. I was wondering why they didn't let me. I, I was like, I can't even I, load them. It's it's they they know about it. They know it's a bug in the system, and you know that's one of the things they're working on. But uh, supposedly, uh, I, with with any of these changes, 
I mean, you would I think, think they would test them, but they haven't. No, no, no it's, they would. it's that well, you think about it, and they've 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 never done that. You know. Nope. And every time everyone you know bitches and moans about it, but really, you're not getting anything that's different. I mean, you're you're not they're not doing anything different. They're just trying something out, and if it doesn't work, you know, they'll probably revoke it in you know a couple months. No, that's not true. Because remember, on YouTube, like changed its entire format, and they're like, "Tough spit, deal with it, yeah. viewers." I mean, it's. Yeah. I'm yeah, sure we will get over it because we got over the the big change to the the home page and everything. I don't yeah. I barely remember the old page. I can't remember what it looks like. Yeah. So we'll always I mean, get you over think, that. Uh, you think Very back, cool. you know, six months to a year, it's like I don't even remember. My that, you know? thing is exactly. that most platforms they troubleshoot their stuff before they release it. But this yeah. is Google. They don't have time to do that. <laughs> yeah, but Google, they you they love money. you. Usually Google is very yeah. nice to its customers, but now it's like, haha, <laughs> too bad. Well, because it bought everything, they have too much stuff to worry about. Okay, pain in the butt camera. Why don't you like me today? Excuse that. I'm back. My back? No, I'm not. I might have to refresh the Hangout, which is going to cut everybody oh. off for about now 30 seconds and ha then have that delay. Oh, no. Um, so bear yeah, with it. With the... I see you. And, oh, wait. Uh, it's just frozen. In the see everybody in about, okay. oh, I don't know, 30 seconds. Oh yeah, he's he's in now. He's rejoining the call. Yeah, I thought you meant it's just the whole thing. No audio um, being. Okay, I'm okay, in. Okay, now you have audio. Yes, I'm on. I'm in. I got my the videos back too. Not that you know mm -hmm. you miss seeing my face, that needs to be shaved. You never know. Hey, no shave November. That's right. Yeah. I can and uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow I can finally take it off because it's getting ridiculous. I know. I trimmed it uh, a couple of weeks ago just because I'm like, this is stupid. <laughs> yeah, I failed. I, I got a, a weekend and like, I can't do this. I mean, I, for one, it, I can't grow something It gets something bad on, on the neck and it's just like, oh. oh. Well, I'm too young to really grow anything like, that actually looks good. So it's just a, bunch, a yeah. whole bunch of dark fuzz. Yeah. So like, I can't do this. This looks horrible. And it bothers me. I don't like having hair up yeah. my face. So I'm like, no, <laughs> bye. <laughs> So, oh man! I want to have a beard one day. I'm gonna be like um Josh Body, beast mode. Ah, <laughs> uh, beast mode. If I can grow a beard like that, I want if I, I was a fanboy, if he came in also. <laughs> Him and Tyro are my favorite. I, I, I've and, been and my, actually sorry, Mark. I, Creeps, I've got the, now you're listening. I've got Tyler helping me out for for a video coming up for I don't know a couple weeks probably. Um, I've got uh. Uh, one of those everything you need to know about videos on uh, graphite, and uh, so I sent him a, a, an outline, and I'm like, here, add something to this because I know I'm not going to cover all of it. So uh, he's he's participating at least. <laughs> yeah, is is this to that like weekly art news thing or monthly art news thing? Oh man, that that that, can, that can lasted you know? like three months and then it just stopped. <laughs> I don't know if it's still up, but I, I don't subscribe no, to him it's... for no particular reason. I don't think I have. Maybe what are you talking about? Marilyn, Marilyn is is art news, and he's like, like yeah, yeah, we're gonna have this movement and and everything, and he started the community and just like left it. <laughs> no, like, it was a good baby. idea. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna say that have? he's ignorant for having a baby or anything, but <laughs> here he had another kid though, right? He had two kids now, right? Oh, I yeah, see you procreation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike his Mark Curry after that he did that one time. Yeah, I did like mock footy. I found it funny. Uh, I don't know. I think but, I'm still uh, new to this whole art community thing. Like, I haven't really done much of the people. <laughs> well, you're here. So, there yeah. you go. This, this is how <laughs> I get with art people. I come here because different art is just I don't get yeah. any views on it. Um, it's just because I don't upload enough. 
and on YouTube I don't upload enough either, so I don't get any views on here. So this is how I talk to you. Oh. Do my part. Not, uh... Oh, I have a phone call. Oopsies. Not our fault. Oh. oh my gosh, you don't believe this. What? Um, so, like, I'm playing the newest Pokemon game, and, like, they finally incorporated the whole who's that Pokemon thing into the game. Yeah, you lost me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I'm back from a random phone call, which I think was my cousin, but I have no idea. You're like, uh, I don't want to talk to you. Uh. <laughs> uh, there's a hat over your drawing. No. You should put the hat on the drawing. Cut yeah. it out and make a... Turn it into a, one of those mixed media photos. Oh, man. I was looking for the rest of the hat. I don't know what I did with the other pieces to it. So, hmm. so I was going to put it together. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing now. everybody saw me light a canvas on fire. Yeah. But I got a sneak peek a long time ago, though, so it's okay. Yeah, the, you, you were in that one. Okay. I wasn't sure. So that's all I'm going to do with that drawing. I like it. It's. Uh, I like it, too. It's very... It's, good. Good. it's like something you would see done like in a professional manga. Professional yeah. manga. So is it manga or manga? Um, I used to say manga, but then like somebody turned to burn it out of my manga if I kept on saying it that way. I was like, yeah. I actually say it both ways. Um, I don't I really. It's just it's just whatever happens to come out of my head and mouth at the same time. Yeah, I forget. Um, I always forget those people say manga. I think I think I've been saying it manga more lately because. Uh, it is. That's that's I hear I hear hear it. Uh, Mark Curley says in his videos. So I I think eventually it clicked, yeah. and I just started saying it that way. Yeah, that's right. Well, he's down over there. I think he knows how to pronounce. Yeah. And his wife is also Japanese. I believe. He was an English teacher. He taught in countries like Japan and Taiwan, I think. Yeah. Thailand. Something like that. Thailand. Yeah, whatever. Thailand, Taiwan. One of them. Yeah. So well, I think he knows better. It's going to be quite amazing. Is that in a lot of those Asian countries, you really don't need much of a degree to teach English in those okay. countries. Like you just have to speak it. Like if, it's, if English is your native language, they're like, yeah, come over here and teach us for a while. That's because it's English. They, they hired my friend to teach like English dunking. in Japan. Wow. I'm just like, ugh, that was my dream, jerk. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to go there, but then I, I watch people's videos too there, and they were, they, all of them say, it's not greener on this side. It's, it's <laughs> a still guys' mine, problems. Um, a friend of mine taught uh, uh, this. He was in Korea for like four or five years, and taught uh, English to high school girls. It was a it was a girls only high school. And, uh, oh, lovely! And then what was crazy about it is that because of the crazy because of the cultural differences, apparently over there it's perfectly acceptable to invite your teacher to go to a movie with you and a group of your friends. Yeah, that's an over <laughs> here. What? They're, like, Wait, how, they're like, teacher, come, 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 go to this this movie with us, and he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> but how, much, how old was he though, compared to them? Um, well, it was right after college, so he must have been about twenty three, twenty four. Oh, it's fine. So, it's no different. Uh, yeah. um, but even still, I mean, it's not bad. Well, weird, for all girls' school, it could be somewhat weird, but not too bad. I mean, it would be weird here. No, well, it depends. I'll, it's all girls school, so that is different. But like at my church and stuff, we invite all your pastor because he's pretty young, and we go out and do stuff with him all the time, and we do that with some uh, people. I don't know. Like I was, I was a teenage girl. Teacher. I wouldn't want to be hanging out with my twenty-four-year-old teacher. Well, no, you be. It's called being teacher's pet. You know. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Well, thank you. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's your young innocent mind, but not your type of thing. I see. No, I wouldn't want to hang out with some old teacher. <laughs> old. You call him Ben old. old. Yeah, Ben's old. You can't call Ben old because I'm older than him. Oh, wait, what? Are I you? Was... Yeah. 
Oh. I'm so young, Hugh. Uh, yeah, I think you were older than me by like, a, by like a month or something. Yeah, it's kind of ironic because they sound younger and look younger than you. Hey, I'd rather sound younger than sound how I do now because I hate my voice. That's okay. I've been working in the same dead end job for four years. It it puts a lot of stress on your on your <laughs> vocals. Um, I don't like. I, I can my go voice. to work and I can go to work and be a nice angry person and. Uh... Nice angry person. How does that even work? <laughs> like um, you. Thank you so much for what you did yesterday. Go walk. It's like, well, you shut Thank up, you. but I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Your wife's indication there totally makes sense. It's like, is, it just, is that just bipolar so at that point? Time um, and just think that time no, travels. it's it's. I would say it's general. It's it's fairly general because I I found that you have to be at least somewhat aggressive in a workplace, oh, especially yeah. in a retail yeah. environment, because otherwise you're just going to get shoved around. Yeah, I'm going to do a work out. So. <laughs> I have no job. So you, you have to be able to hold your own, I guess. This is a better way to put it. Well, actually, um, I prefer retail over fast food. Like, um, fast food was Yeah, hell. absolutely. Uh, there's, there's no... <laughs> there's no that's not even a question there. Retail, you get but, some uh, dignity and respect. Yeah, you know, like, hey, it takes a long time to stop these shows. What, what, Don't give me what crap. Gets me, what gets me is... Um, I wear... Because I have to wear a name tag. Uh. And some people have walked away and say, Oh, thanks, Ben. And I... I stopped for a minute. I'm like, how did you? Oh my! Oh right. <laughs> I don't like wearing name tags in the homeschool thing I go to or anything. I don't like wearing name tags. Like a convention, they make me wear a name tag. I would be really mad, probably. Cause, like I don't like name tags. What what, is... what sucks now is that um, I I'm so used to walking out the door with my name tag on that I went to church last week and I walked out the door and put my name tag on. And I got in the car, and I'm like, why am I wearing this? <laughs> this is working. I gra- okay. grab my, my keys and my wallet, and I put, you know. Yeah. You think, oh, yeah. Um, I actually worked for Did anyone come up to you that you like, didn't know? And they're like, hello, Ben. Nice to meet you. Like, oh, hi. They, okay they, they, yeah, they've greeted with me with my name, and I've... And mm-hmm. I've it's <laughs> the same thing. as like, oh, yeah, I'm wearing a name tag. I have to remember. Yeah, that, that, my, that's weird. But Is it okay if I, I sit to... here, young man? <laughs> what? what are you talking about? Are you an, are you an usher? Bing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she she got lost you, yeah. me. I, I'm, I don't know. I'm picking well, on the name tag. If you'd gone to church with it, old ladies would have oh, been asking you for no, the No, I took it off before stuff. I got there. <laughs> so it wasn't. Yeah, I, I got in my car and realized it was on, and so I took it off. Young man. Oh, wow. Can you go bring me that communal wafer? <laughs> well, you don't need a name tag to be asked. Like that, I'm going. I'm going to ignore that comment. Not only the irreverence of it, but uh, the fact that it wasn't even remotely accurate. So thanks. <laughs> what really bothers me is that my friend's grandma, who's like the mom, knew me somehow, and I end up sitting next to her almost every time at church and stuff. Like, she's nice and all, but I don't know her. But she knows. Me somehow. Yeah. My friends I, telling hey, them about me. I've I've carried on entire conversations with people that know me, but don't I don't have any idea who they are. Me They'll too. walk away and they're like, "Who was that?" I'm like, "I have no idea." I was. I, don't I was polite. I said, "You know, how you doing? How's you know, yeah. whatever." Oh, yeah. like, I this see them with their kids. How's your kids? You know, whatever. Yeah. Doesn't matter. I, I don't know who's your Name's not Betty. Oh. It's kind of funny because like right now I'm on this relationship with um, this nice couple that sits behind me and they have rowdy kids and. It, Fun. It's like I'm the only person that's tolerant enough to sit near them. <laughs> yeah. The, the well, thing now is, you. people are starting to recognize me as the guy that sells art, and because every year, every February, there's the uh, there's a youth ministry fundraiser, and I've been selling my art there. And there was a last year, I put up a video of it, of the uh, the event, and or beginning of this year rather, I still call uh, it last year. But, I'm still not good enough to sell my art. I'm sure uh, was. Uh, I'm actually gonna start selling my art. And, and they're Yay. like, "Oh, you're, you're." I'm like, "They're like, oh yeah, you're the artist." And I'm like, "Yeah, that's me." Yeah, I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm that guy with the glasses. Oh, yeah. With the glasses and the guy looks like he's forty. D- darting in and out yeah. around people, you know. Uh, I'm the guy. Oh yeah, excuse me, I'm fun you know, over here. You know. Yeah. Church fun. <laughs> what I don't like is when people wave at me and I wave back, but I really don't know who they are. But then I can't really say that because a couple of 
a week or two ago when I was at the Hunger Games midnight release with all my friends and stuff. And as some people were getting out of the movie theaters, we were waving at them. You could see how many people wave back. And like, I wonder if any of these people are thinking that we actually know them and feel bad for not knowing us. Because I would. I feel so bad. I feel so good at the same time. Yeah, I, um, uh, past couple of recent years, I went to, uh, I went back to my old high school to give talks to, uh, video production classes. Ugh. And I, I went around, uh, yeah, my, my, uh, old high school, they have a big video program there. Um, oh, that kind of thing. I thought I heard oppression that's like, okay, kids, if you want to press this oh. person. No. Don't end up like Ben. You don't. You don't want this kind of life. You'd be bored by the no, time you're 20. That's the thing is, uh, if if I go in uh, this school year, which will be, oh come on, <laughs> can I stop broadcasting on the camera? Oh, whatever. I'm just gonna let it go. Um, let it go. So, uh, uh, oh, I'm back. Okay, I'm back. It's uh, someone's got to be watching a movie in the other room or something, taking up the bandwidth. That's got to be it. Um, the bandwidth. Anyhow, so uh, what was I saying? Saying about depression classes at uh, high school, but actually was yes. So if, if if I go in uh, this year, a lot of my talks are going to be about uh, uh, online video now because it's been film in recent years. Mm-hmm. And since I'm doing much less of that and doing these weekly videos, I decided I'm like, you know what? If if I go in again, uh, it's gonna be about what makes something makes up what makes it work online. It's you know keeping it condensed and uh, uh, yeah. being able to work in those time constraints and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, I was saying something before that. I, that was a side. That was that was a side note that I was making, and I. Speaking of videos and you, that video one art. video thing that you... Yes, did. I remember now. Um, that's weird. It never happens. I never remember. So I, w- I went in uh, one year around Christmas time, and there were other alumni, uh, I guess, in visiting teachers and stuff, and somebody recognized me. I, I I think they were in my graduating class. I don't know. I don't know. And they I carried on. It's like, hey, how you doing? What are you up to? And this and that. And I walked away. I had I had no idea who they were. No idea. Um, uh, I just, you know, it's polite, and they, I guess, knew me. Mm-hmm. I, but you know, which is which is crazy. I heard some, I heard something recently. It's, I don't know if it's a video or whatever, but somebody said something like, you. "How did you not know? How do you not know people you graduated with?" And I'm like, "That's easy." And I'm like, "That's that's very easy." One, because if you have a class I've of seen like you 400 in 10 or 15 like me. Years. And I, when yeah. I gra- when I went to graduation, and we were walking, we graduated on our, our football field because it's big and st- stadium and such. Um, Makes sense. But uh, I, I, we were walking out, or, or and we were before before we walked out, we were all kind of gathering together, and they were checking us for balloons and stuff like that. Even though somebody, I think, I th- some, I think somebody managed to to sneak a uh, one of those big beach balls out, I think, taped to their chest or something. Um, yeah, but um, um, we were all sitting around, and we were looking at, at some of the other people. Were like, they're in our class, you know? Yeah. We're, we're like, I, like I've seen you I around, but I didn't, I didn't know you were in our class. If it's just Funny weird. Story. I don't mean to interrupt, but my. Yeah. Huh? Interrupt, mm-hmm. but. Um, yes. Um, I might have to keep going because my CPU is hitting 100% for some reason. Ooh, that's what okay. Was. I hit 100% all the yeah. time, time, but okay. Well, if you feel if you feel uh, no, over- like I can't do anything. Lagging. Okay. Well, <laughs> thanks it's for joining. Lagging. Um, uh, I may not be leaving. I'm, I'm fixing it okay. now. Close some other programs, whatever. Anyhow, uh, so uh, side story, funny story. Someone else. Continue. Uh, my funny story was that. Um, one of my best friends in college, which is pretty much right now, um, we had, we were graduated from the same year together, and like after a month of me getting to know her, we were looking through her graduation photos, and I was literally standing right next to her as she was <laughs> with her parents. And she was a female too. You wow. didn't know who. Oh, that's bad. No, because like, our, our paths never crossed at all. Because it's like. Um, well, they clear across in the picture, apparently. 
Yeah, no, like, um, I was just, just not staring a, a, up. Co- not, not a conversation, you mean. Yeah, like, just, like, we would see each other in the hall, but we never acknowledged each yeah. other. And, like, we met through a club at school, and then we became friends, and, like, we're like, oh, hey, you're so, so, blah, blah, blah. You hated that person. <laughs> not that person, um, that teacher, too. Yeah. And, we, like, what, teachers aren't people? Well, no, sh- this one teacher is, like, the biggest... <laughs> Jerk, like she had something up her something. Yeah. Like constantly. <laughs> oh. She was a teacher, what do you want? <laughs> I don't know. Like and then we, I'm, what I've noticed there are a lot of people that should not be teachers. Like they might have the skills of their subjects, but one, they're not excited enough about their subject, and two uh oh, come on, camera. Uh and two, uh they don't like people and it's like why are you a teacher? <laughs> Yeah, like that's my deal. That's the reason why I didn't like this one. It's like, why, are you, why are you here if you're so bitter towards everyone that you see in the school? Yeah, I got. Because you can't. I be. got into a conversation with a guy I worked with uh, last year about um, how a lot of teachers can't make learning interesting just because that's not who they are, and that's you know one of my one of my rants about the educational system and everything. About I, and I said I'm like well, think back to when you were in high school and college, uh, when you had a teacher that you really liked. Um, uh, what was it about them? It's like it's like you, it was probably somebody who was really engaging, you know, who was excited about what they did, you know, and they're like, you know what, you're right. It's it's you know you get and you have like one or two of those teachers. You don't have uh, a ton of them. Every now and then you get one that sticks out. That's true. Yeah, but I think I'm done drawing for now because I come out of stuff to do. Uh, I'm just to paint to dry. Looks like everyone's slowed down on their drawing a bit. My oh, drawing's finished. Yes, mine's more or less finished for now. I got the background, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm lazy. My drawings weren't necessarily finished or started to be good about their discussion. <laughs> I'm like looking at one of my paintings and like, should I start it now or wait till tomorrow? I think it's good that I actually drew something. <laughs> yeah, pretty that's pretty good. Um, so now I have to find the creepers of the eye. My, my Frankenstein creeper. Mm. Mm. I don't know why I do, <laughs> do any of you guys have the um any of Mark Cody's mangos? No. I've got um, Brody's Ghost one through four, I believe. I have one through four, but I have it on ebook. Uh is it any good? Yeah, yes. I like it. It's really good. <laughs> I am which one I talking about? After every uh, after I when I get a new one, I will sit down and read it immediately. And then be done in like 20 minutes, yeah. and it'll go on the shelf, and it's like, uh. Yeah, how, how many pages are there in them? Because they're like the oh, pages. Oh, they're pretty thin. Here, let me grab. Yeah, they're oh, about... Let's grab number one. Oh, Here, it takes them saying... forever to do them. So. It's. I I won't. Oh gosh. Away, because I won't. It's. Let's see. It is. Um, uh, 87. Probably like 90 to 100 pages. Per and the stories are good, though. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. It's because it's a comic book. You're run, I'm I when I read it, I'm going through and I'm going down, 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 and flipping down, 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 and flipping. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's it's fast. I'm reading the story and then I actually go back and. Yeah, that's the thing. Once, once I'm done, I flip pages. back through yeah. and I look at the artwork again. Look at the artwork. Yeah. yeah. And because I, because that's I watched some of his videos. One of, and one of them he said he he loves doing these hyper detailed double page spreads. Yes, and so, I, I so I go see so, so I go back and I look for them. Um, Can you show me one, please? Sure. No, no, no that's the thing. I'm I'm looking for one now. Uh, this is just yeah, book I love so I'm not uh, pulling anything. Super I love his backgrounds. He does this, yeah. the high detail backgrounds. Like I wish I could do backgrounds There's one. like that. This is very beginning. Um, see, yeah, yeah. I've seen that one online actually. Yeah. Uh, there's one. I think it's the beginning of the second one. I might pull that out as well. I'm surprised. 
my, my Bleach manga books are way thicker than that, and only like. Oh, here, this is this is the very yeah, beginning. This is yeah, really the very pages. beginning of his his first book. Um, that looks great. Yeah, see, I'd love to be able to do that. Oh, he does that. I have no idea. Adaptations. Um, like, can you do that, Ben? Could you do that? Uh, if I sat down and I've I've got a a drawing. Do you want me to go down here and get it? It's I never finished it. It's a big cityscape um, that I was doing. It was a digital piece that I was rendering, which is what most of my uh, drawings end up being, which are just yeah. basically blatant ripping off. JJ's going Hold now. On. I'll Bye, be back. JJ. See you, JJ. See ya. Oh, well, I guess you're just going to want to add creepy. Oh, where did I lose it at? I'm going to start another painting. I'm going to be right back. Ben also went for a while to go do something. I'm messaging my friend on Skype and she's like, is this thing live? I guess it's live. I don't want to pop up. Uh? I pop up Corwin. Give me a lost... Yeah. Okay. So, Welcome big old back. drawing pad. Uh, fourteen by seventeen drawing paper. Let's see. The problem, I mean, I don't draw big stuff very much because mainly because it's time consuming and it just gets me, uh, I'll flip back to that a bit. Uh, it's, it's because it's so time consuming, I don't have the patience to sit down. Here we go. So I was working on this, oh god, it must have been two years ago. Wow. And uh, I never finished it, but. This was my uh, micron pens and everything. Um, See, I can't do that. I don't understand how I, people get the different, um, like the darkness and the lightness using pen. It's like yeah. pens all the same color. How do you do that? Ha just, hatching and cross hatching. Cross hatching, I guess. I don't know. Yep, hatching and cross hatching. <sighs> and uh, this, uh, okay. the next one I'm gonna pull out here. I've shown in, I think, a hangout um, before. Uh, there's the it's a digital piece that I did a, a, a pen piece. rendering of. Um, I can probably find it in my DeviantArt um, uh, favorite. That's one somewhere. thing that amazes me. One thing that yeah, amazes me about Mark Critic because when he does these these big drawings and stuff, he does them really small. Yeah. Wow. But they're not really small. I mean, his he works. I think on the paper just a little bit smaller than this one, and then he shrinks it down. But um, yeah, so this is one that I did a rendering of. Uh, um, wow. So what do you mean by rendering of? Like I don't. Exactly uh, this is it's it's not an original composition. It's a it's somebody's digital painting that I took and just copied basically, just in a different. Video. So it's a it's a pen rendering of somebody's digital uh, artwork. <gasps> oh, okay. So a pen reference of someone else's. Yeah. I guess I don't know. Oh, this is oh here's okay. here's one. This is the oldest uh, I think time lapse drawing on the uh, on the channel, and it's the composition of Sonic characters. Um, this is how yeah. Oh, there's, oh there's, I remember that one. Oh wow. Yeah. I see I what's the date on this. I haven't been here November, for November 2010. So <laughs> I've got uh, I've got a uh, a new uh, video game time lapse coming up pretty soon too. Uh, just gotta get around to doing it. <laughs> But it's 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 in the works. Okay, I don't. That's okay, anytime I d I don't I screenshot only my um Corel program, it lags so much. So I'm gonna go back to full screen. Okay, here's here's here. a here's another. Um, this is last February. No, two February no February 11, two years ago. I picked the cap. Um, this one is somewhat more original, but not quite. This was still a little bit of a rendering. Yeah. But, uh, oh. Get the uh, focus. Like that. Focus. Not enough light for it to focus. But yeah, no get well. the idea. 
Yeah. yeah. So that's also cross hatching and all that kind of stuff, right? That's that was a lot of little circly uh things. Yeah. Cool. Um must take so long to do. One thing that I've uh um, yeah, can I do that? Because uh, because I sketch primarily in pen, uh I've I've learned to control it a lot more and when I do, uh a lot of people think that uh, and I went in this in a one of the other hangouts about how you, when you draw you shouldn't be holding it like a pe like a, like you hold it for writing you should be holding it different. So when I'm sketching, I'm holding uh, much further back and, and extremely yeah. loose. Um, when I, I can't do, do that. Cause I, do, I like I have a really the strong grip and a lot of pressure putting you down. My, yeah, my so that's stuff. that's gonna cause you more problems than um, yeah, it does. Oh, it yeah, makes be free dude. with what you do. And it, yeah, my traditional I, I tell you what stuff. helps. If you work large scale, because yeah. you can't you can't do small. You have to be able to get those big strokes. Um, yeah, but like when you like this fine line off stuff, um, for anime characters and stuff, like I have to do thin lines because I'm gonna ink them later and erase them. But I end up doing these really thick lines that are really dark and they're really pain to erase. And, most of the don't even get to be a waste. Hey, there's my squirrel that nobody liked. Your flying squirrel. squirrel. Flying squirrel just my, my squirrel isn't flying. My, I decided. I, I don't know if you guys ever saw it. Well, no one, no, no, no one likes it. it. Uh, Wait, because it wasn't actually squirrel. flying. It yeah. wasn't actually flying. It has. It was, That's why no one likes it. It was a slightly more creative no take time. on the squirrel concept. I gave him a match and a belt, uh, and he's preparing to get uh, a rocket. Uh, but he's not there yet. Oh. But, um, I thought you were trying to like do it. some uh, Rambo reference. No. I, I, I was, so good, I was like impressed that I could even draw a freaking squirrel because I hate drawing animals altogether. I, can't, I, can't, I probably can't. I really want to draw roofs because that was really neat. Um, I, I got to show you this. It's a really neat deviant art thing. Um, where's my... That's manga. Monster Japan. Where was it? Drawing art. There we go. It's all this really neat deviant art. Um, thing. Uh, is, this, is this not it? Oh, since some of you you talking about anime and, and that kind of thing, this is when I did I did this in a hangout. Uh, I think last year. You can't see it. Um, I'll just keep holding it here because it's. I, I see. You can't see it. I've watched. I don't see it. Oh wait. Um. Oh, I see it now. The um, hat looks a little weird. The hat looks a little weird. Uh, it's yeah, it's not my go-to style or anything, but this was colored yeah. pencil anyway. Yeah, but, I can't uh, do traditional card all reading that well. I'm trying to use prism card markers when you do it, and um, it's gotten better, but it's, it's the paint still. I just stick with paint and <laughs> Well, I've never done card all until I started oh, here the we show, go. I've always this this will be an interesting one for you guys to see. Um, I took a. Uh, a drawing class when I was uh, working on my associates, just kind of as a fun class to fill time. And uh, one of our final projects was a, was a, a still life, which uh, boring as hell, but you're sitting there for three hours drawing, so you have to do it. Um, so this is what I did in graphite. Oh. I like it. Uh, see, I'm not like a still life. I'm horrible at still life. Um, so I don't mind like, doing it, I'm just not that like, good at it. Um, I just, so I'm not yeah. able to get the shapes right. Just, Who uh, says you need to it. get the shapes so right? I do it. <laughs> yeah, my shapes aren't even remotely right. <laughs> well, just think, shapes is for losers. No, but I do a jaw and it looks more like a... Shapes is for losers. Clearly. That's what all the professionals should say, yeah. I'm just not good enough to do still life, and I don't enjoy it too much compared to just doing anime and, and, and atomony and blah 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 blah, blah stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, I always used to be my anatomy. I think of anatomy oh, as an autonomy. Here's an, I know. We know what you meant. Yeah. And this is the last one I'm going to yeah. pull out because that's about all I have in here. Uh, this is the graphite one I, I did, uh, the one day I showed this in a video. Uh, oh. At one oh, point. I look. Uh, it's another one of those rendering ones, but um, I, that's another thing I can't do. I can't draw really small people, full body, really small people. See, I that's the I I could pro I can do small people to an extent. Do uh, a video. 
I cannot do big people. <laughs> do, do a video now. <laughs> now? No. We can't no. demand that from him. And most yeah, of the time, okay. I'm looking at like three or four references. I'm a, I'm a subscriber. Uh, let's um, see. Still. I've got. I watch got all the live streams. I've got a ton of great man. stuff coming up for the new year too. Um, uh, I have absolutely nothing as usual because I'm up in five months. I've got, well, yeah. I've got a, a schedule for December of uh, all kind of weird extra stuff, and I'm starting. I'm starting the vlogs uh, next oh, week. Hey, so that'll be interesting. Groove along. If I don't understand about myself, I can talk with my voice on here, but I don't want to talk with my voice on my own channel. <laughs> so don't. I don't know why. So I have a whole microphone. I don't. I almost have his text. But I'm getting the new microphone for Christmas, hopefully, and then I hope it will open up more to my own subscribers. Speaking about my subscribers, hello, YouTube. I'm Trudy Code. <laughs> Yes. I need my lower thoughts now. Subscribe to me. I apologize, 89 guys. <laughs> I don't post anything, so don't worry about being spam. I, I do post some <laughs> stuff. It's not often. Usually about three months in between videos. Right now it's fine. Well, I guess Paul Walker won't be in any more Fast and Furious videos. Movies. What happened? Apparently he WB. and somebody else died in a fiery car crash. Oh my oh. goodness. Whoa. Oh. oh. Oh, that poor person. Yeah, that was lovely news. Testing out his new Porsche. Oh, and I love Porsches too. Here, if you're here, talk about little people. Die, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, hold on. Oh, okay. Pull the James Dean. He pulled a James Dean. <laughs> that doesn't sound so you to be laughing at right now. <laughs> no, it's uh, fine. Is he um, in here? I don't know him. He's just somebody on TV. <laughs> a good way to practice people, you were talking about little people, is to do quick gesture sketches. But I can't um, do that. Here's a couple I was doing for a project that didn't get made. Uh, they were talking about this giant in a forest or something. That'll, that'll uh, pick up. A great, a great way to uh, to do these is to like sit in anywhere. I was sitting... When I was did, did uh, my people sketches, I was sitting in the parking lot at work, and uh, just getting people as they walk by, and it's tough because you they don't hold still. You just have to capture whatever walking movement they're in in like five. It'd be seconds. weird if it did hold still. They stood there for a while for no reason. Like, standing there. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't draw this guy. He's standing. I do that whenever I see artists drawing at school, and I could just stand perfectly still in their way, like. Homeschool problems. A bit. What's this guy standing? Did he see me? Did he notice me? Oh no. <laughs> oh man. It's true. So I, I gotta ask you guys, um, have you seen the new PPV videos? The PPV? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, painting process videos. They're replacing time lapses on my channel. Uh, the, I've the, seen a few of them, but the, I don't uh, know. There's only two right now. The, the one up here, uh, the funny bullseye sky with the, the cliffs and the grass, and that's the most recent one. So that's what you're calling them uh, now? I've seen them. Yeah. Yes, PPPs. Uh, I don't know what you're calling them now. Um, what do you think about them? I, I, uh, it's because like it's like partial time-lapse, partial uh, other story. Thing. Story. Like it's really something that on. I've always thought about doing, but I was like, now I'm going to keep it off and wait to see what somebody else does, because... Somebody else kind of has probably a better grasp of doing it. I really like the way that you do it. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm 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 trying to get the feel for him. Well, I like you, Ben. Bit. Um. Yeah. <laughs> They're not. Uh, the viewership on him is down versus the other ones because I don't think anyone knows how to really search for something like that because it's not it's not oh time lapse you know you well, you know what a time lapse, lapse is you don't really, really know what you don't really know what it is. Um. Huh. Like no, I was saying that time lapse paintings are very hard to find on YouTube too. So like um, they all. We're being yeah, they are, yeah. but they're not. I, I don't look. I, I think that. Uh, so. yeah. What what I find is that I think the time lapse thing has been done to death. Um, I haven't done time lapses. And that's probably yeah, why I don't know. Know. That's, 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 everybody everybody starts with that and they just and it's like the, the thing. The thing with the time lapse is I get sick of the some of the music. 
Yeah, I have yeah. the mute, the some, mute some of the music, people's taste in music yeah. and, and use of it is questionable. Yeah. I mean, you oh, can always wrong. mute it and just throw in your own music, but, you know, whatever. Well, that's just like I don't have as many um, subs. Um, um, a lot of times, like, so the if, autos if I, I know, see you do the same. I, I hate to be someone, someone like this, but if the video is just like, like if I see it and the music is just wrong to it, I'm like, I'm not even gonna watch this now because it's like you, it's like you're doing just so what you, don't you watch like that, and not what watch works. Videos. Yeah, I mean, there's, I, so and I don't look for time lapses like I used to. I mean, like in, uh, like 2009, 2010, I was looking for them, but um, I know it's. Really look for them. It's like auto quality. I prefer time lapse video with the voice overlay, telling, explaining the steps of or what they See, that's doing more of a tutorial. Though, I, I like that. That's like bad yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, I see. I do that, but with text because I'm lazy. <laughs> I don't think that's really mm. lazy. I think that's more. Um, it's a little harder to do because like sometimes you can't really word properly yeah. in text. That's why I, uh, yeah. One thing I, I'm well, that's why I, I'm trying to do I'm tr I'm trying to describe what I do better. Um, one thing I know uh, Sykra is really good about articulating what he's doing and yeah, and how he's doing it and and I'm like I I gotta learn how to talk about my work better. Um, okay, video's not working for anybody now. Mine's working. <laughs> Mine's working too. I'm just not trying to you guys. I'm doing. It's just me, I guess. Jeez. Ah, yay for slow internet. Okay, slow, slow fast internet. Slow fast internet. My parents um, are like, oh, "Internet's fine." I'm like, "No, when you uh, try to do video and stuff, you're just yeah." But but the my dad, my dad says it's as slow as the ping. I said, no, dad, it isn't. <laughs> That's partly why and partly wrong. It's the upload. I'm not uploading it's not even a megabyte. That's how bad it is. That's, why yeah. I don't do, that's another reason I don't do videos. It's like I want to do 720p videos because I got, uh, I got Vegas Pro now. I can do that, but like it's gonna take me like two hours to upload. It's yeah, I my my wow. uploads min, minimal upload for me is like half hour. Yeah, me too. Um, I usually try to keep my videos under 10 minutes because it's like I don't want to yeah. be here. My only four minutes uh -huh. and take like 40 minutes to do. I hate it. So, yeah. um, I don't know what this is saying about me, but I managed to paint all of this since a little while ago. Mm. Yeah, this is a black screen. Oh, oh there it is. What is it? Okay. I see like a woman's hair yeah. and shape. And... Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. Ow, 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 ow. It's a cat. Oh. Is it not a cat? No, um, I, I was using my feet as an easel right now, just to oh. show you guys. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. yeah, I'm just like, what's it say about me that I like to do things fast? Does that make me a bad artist? No, of course not. I, I I've worked fast for a long time. I'm starting to slow down a little bit more, um, just because I want to put a lot more detail into my work. Yeah, no, um, I actually do like to paint detail, but unfortunately, the stuff that sells is the abstract stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's you spend all this time on on this piece and nobody likes it and then you spend like forty minutes on this piece and everyone's like that's awesome. Hang on. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where's my night switch? Because I have that night. I don't feel pain. I do. I have noticed like over the year or two of me doing my um traditional anime stuff that I've gotten faster at doing and better. At the same time, I feel like it's kind of bad, but like I'm, I'm fast no, now. It's not. But it's, it's not. It's not because you're learning. Yeah, no, no, I've gotten better too. You know. I also, I've also, my style has have like evolved over time. So I got in like yeah. my shading will completely change one day. I like, and usually because I, I get new paper and like this paper is way better than old paper. Screw that paper. <laughs> like, I switch from I switch from B paper to um, Bristol paper because uh, I saw Mark Cody's video and some other people doing it. It's like oh, I got it and like I love it now. It's wonderful. I can I actually have texture now instead of just flat surface that is gooey. Okay, so um, this is the nice. stuff that sells and gets views a lot on DeviantArt, the fan art. Uh huh. So it's well, like it's great. DeviantArt's all like thirteen-year-old girls. Yeah, yeah and like the fun stuff that I do, like this, 
And so yeah, I'll buy that. That. Oh, yeah. And um, I got some face on the religious side. I'm happy about that at least. Yeah. And you just saw my messy ass floor and stuff like that. This one, I'm actually really happy that people like it and fave it on DeviantArt. Here's my you... problem. If I was, oh, I like that. If one. I were to paint, yeah, that's a nice one. I like that, I like how dark it is. If I were to paint something or do something, and it's not up to par with my other stuff. I get like shunned for it. If I feel like with my friends and family, They're like, well, I like it, but it's not as good as the other one. Like, it's something completely new. I'm not good at it, yeah. and like I feel bad doing it. Like, it was not. I have expectations now to reach because I did so many good stuff at one point that I can't change without not reaching the expectation. Yeah. But Divi, I, I've, nice I've, I've stuff. learned to pretty much ignore a lot of people, what people say about my work. Okay, so uh, that's not the that night. Um, it's just creepy. Don't diss my holidays and things like that. I like just it. I like it. It's just kind of creepy. I don't want that hanging out. Creepy my stuff is good. awesome. I love creepy stuff. But that's I don't know. I, mean, I can't say all that much. I can't say that I don't want them on my wall since I have a giant face on my wall. So still not done yet. I I I went through an old sketchbook. Uh, I think a couple hangouts ago, about my I think it was my high school sketchbook with a lot of this real crazy surreal stuff. Yes, it was. And, there, and I think the the. Uh, the consensus was, why did you stop doing this? It was like, well, it, nobody, no, everyone, everyone goes, oh, that's neat. And then, then they go to the landscape, you know. I like yeah. doing landscape. I haven't done one, like, forever. I feel kind of bad for that, because I, I haven't done one. I did, I started doing landscapes in three months' time. In those three months, I got really, really good at it. And it's thanks to Tyler's Alt Shack. But since he starts slowing yeah. down his videos, I start slowing down my, my landscapes. Oh, I don't do them, like... I haven't done one forever now. Like, I have a whole bunch of half finished, and like, I don't know what to do. I forgot how to draw clouds. I need to go back and learn how to draw clouds from him. To, to... I forget how to draw a cloud. And, and the way he does it, the way he, that looks. Like, well, realistic. don't do it the way he does it. Find a way for yourself. Yeah. Like his way looks it's good not... though. <laughs> he makes videos for a reason. See, 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 see that, see, that's that's where you're running into trouble because you're just doing what he does and you're not adapting it into whatever you're doing. Yeah, so that's right. the thing is, is um, when I started first uh, started watching uh, Tim Gonyard stuff, mm-hmm. it was cool, and you know, and, and it was neat. But you know, it's I couldn't 100% replicate it. So I'm like, so yeah. you know, it's like this is it's a technique. You know, I'm not. Gonna... I can't 100% replicate it, but I can if I go his style and mess up with not as good. It still looks better than me trying my own thing, and it's not working out exactly. At this point, I've got some these kind of like a mix between him and this me. Being lazy, <coughs> so. See, I, I I like to say that my own thing is just that it's my own thing, but it's it kind of goes back to when we were talking about uh, that steal like an artist thing. It's nothing. You, my my own thing personally, isn't even my own thing. It's it's a bunch of little bits of all these other, other artists people's. pulling in. And that's what all it is. Especially when you do weapon uh, art and stuff. Well. My my foundation in painting was. Uh, watching Bob Ross when I was a kid. Um, we all have Bob that's, Ross. That's though. what I wanted to do. And I think that's what a lot of people want to do, and they, and, and a, lot, a lot of times you're doing acrylic when he's doing oil. Um, yeah. And so you have to find uh, ways around. Well, around you can the still use some difference. of the. You can still use some of the techniques that Bob uses with acrylic, like some of the. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh gosh, what's in my voice? Uh, when some I, of the techniques you can do, but like you can't do all of them. It's like blended smoothly and yeah, blendy. yeah. Like uh, I was, I got into it, I think on the DeviantArt Art forums with somebody one time about whether or not to use a knife to do mountains. Yeah, and, uh, so um, how, who, I think it was Josh. He, uh, he did that, and it looks so yeah. good. I want to try it so um, much because what yeah. what I'm noticing about a lot of Josh's paintings and. I, I kind of want to give him a, a better critique on it, because his what he's doing now reminds me of my work from a few years ago. He's he's getting the concepts, but what bothers me about a lot of his paintings now is that he spends so much time on his background and then he just throws in the foreground, and you then he's done. But um, 
That's just his style, maybe. Well, I mean, it could be better. He could put I, more stuff in the I foreground. Think, I think it's about because I because I did the exact same thing a few years ago. Is I would spend all this time on one part of the piece and then just go Bleh, with everything else. Yeah, um, that's what I like about the painting that I'm doing right now because it's like since it's pointillism, you have to concentrate on all of it. Mm. Yeah. See, if I like about his stuff though, like if I, anytime I ever. Times I have wanted to paint, it's because I watched one of his videos. Like I want to paint yeah. now. I, I mean, I've done a few videos too, though. Um, yeah, I, I I know what it means. You see, you see something like, oh, I should try that, you know. And then it walks. It completely does not walk, and I get like, oh. <laughs> I hate painting. I really cannot paint for craft. Um, oh, in, in two thousand, in two thousand nine, I found a guy. Uh, this guy's blog, uh, uh, Lawrence Yang, and he does these watercolor and gouache pieces. Oh, I know who you're talking fasty. about. You know, you know what I mean, actually. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, my there was a recent piece that I did during a hangout, which became a time lapse. It's called uh, "To War," and it's these big, uh, swimmy creatures in the sky. With thing, and it's based, and that's kind of stuff is based off of his work. And what I was doing uh, when I first started doing those pieces uh, is I was trying to do something similar, but change it enough that it wasn't that direct copy. And w from w doing those series of pieces, I've learned a few different things in that process to take to an acrylic painting versus you know, a watercolor piece or whatever I, I was doing in with those pieces. So it's it's sort of a slow development process. And then all of a sudden, th then after a while, you'll look back and you'll go, oh, I did that that I did that I learned before, you know. Uh, but if, if you're always focused on, on Doing uh, some like, it's like it's, it, you shouldn't be so focused on trying to get something. You're like, oh, just try this, just try this, just try this. Yeah. Uh, trying trying to make it look the way you want it versus just trying to make it look how they how they do it or how they do it, you know. Uh, I think the problem I have with painting though is like it's so much work to clean it up and get it started and <laughs> like it's not a quick sketch. It's a quick paint. You have to wait for the dry to well. If you mess yeah. up, you messed up. It's that's not our issue. Too. Like, I um, if you mess up with acrylic, you can cover it up later. You just wait yeah. for it to dry. I've I've you done things where it's like, oh, just put a tree there. Oh it's, wait wait, There's it's no a happy accident. As, there we go, happy yeah. accident. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I'm very I'm very neat. I would say about my artwork, I don't like stuff not working out right. I'm saying that I don't like about myself. I like messy shading when it comes to traditional art. I love messy mm -hmm. shading, my friend. Max messaging right now. She does messy messy shading on her stuff, and I like it. So I don't like neat shading. I do now. What, what do you mean time, by messy I shading? I don't. I I will show you. Um, screen share full screen. So, um, uh, let's see your photos. Um, okay, this I'm is one of four pieces. I I'm not getting anything from you. I don't know why it's. Uh, I don't get anything either. Yeah. What? Uh, Turn it off. I don't know. Well, th throw it in the comments. Uh, uh, okay. How about now? Is it up now? Uh, no. Uh, well, that means the whole time I've been doing nothing. No. Yeah. It's well, you and you and Lucas have been black for most of the time here. Oh yeah, look past a little bit, but I was painting and um, I did quite a bit on it. Yeah. Yeah, I saw your painting. It's actually very nice. It's of a girl wearing a purple coat. Yes. That's yeah. I know. Thank you. And um. I would show you what I'm painting, but it's really hard to position the iPad to where I can paint comfortably. iPad. Ew! I bet you can see me now. <laughs> see yourself. Uh, no. Uh, nope. Nothing. Mm -mm. I could leave well, and come back in. You could. I'm gonna leave and come back don't, in. Don't don't worry about it. It's it's fine. You can always uh, think us. Uh, uh. Anyway, the way she does black and white shading is um quite messy. Like like she's. Just new at it and stuff, so she's not be good at it. But at the same time, look back at my old stuff. I'm always like, don't go outside the line. This goes there. This, yeah. The light source is there, so this will go there. This will go there. I was always very You're, picky about where I, my shade. I would, I would say that you are and too notice. worried about getting it right, and not yeah. worried about getting yes. it wrong. It's okay to be wrong. <laughs> it's probably because of a good amount of um, reference too. I, a good I'm, amount a perfect of reference. I'm gonna, look, reference I'm, I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna look at all these pieces. I'm gonna look at all the pieces up on my wall here. I, did one I don't normally do this in public. Oh, 
uh, let it. It's. It seems that when I start talking more, it it blacks out for some reason. Anyhow, um, I, I'm, um, I can see all the pieces sign. on the wall up here. Um, yeah. I'm going to tell you what's wrong with them. Don't okay. do it. Uh, uh, Stop the left one. Select like that one the most. The left one, way over there. The far uh, left one. Yeah, far left. Uh, the mountain in green. One. I like that one so much. Mountain. For looking yeah. at it. <laughs> so nice. Okay. That, see, th see, that one's harder for me because that's my newest one, and I find that I, like it. I, I can't figure out what's wrong with it until I do something else. Like whatever, I, whatever my most recent piece is, I like that one until I do something new. And then well, I what about the it. foreground with the sky in it? It's a solid oh. piece, but um, the foreground seems like a, I don't, know, it's missing something maybe. It's. I mean, it looks good. I love it. It could be that I'm not the, seeing the background from this far away. The background is too saturated in that one. Um, like in the far back mountains, how they're kind of like grayed yeah, out. They're, they're far. Yeah. They're 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 not grayed out enough. Uh, there's there's that little bit of atmospheric perspective in it, but it's it's yeah. not. It's too it's too bold. It, it needed to be a little bit more uh, washed out. Yeah. Can you, st can you still uh, see it? The, yeah. The one next to it, though, the the very abstract one, you did the only art live mm -hmm. hangout. And, um, how are you that able to find something that's wrong with that? Because there's nothing right the, about it. It's the, abstract. The center section of that um, uh -huh. needed to be thinner. It, the, the brightness came out way too far. It needed to be really thin, a very uh. condensed area in the center. And I so that's wrong to you, though, it out. not to... Yes. Yeah. Because so it's not what opinion, I wanted to do in the first place. That way I wanted. Okay. Um, yeah, so you had an idea and you just didn't succeed in it. The the next one over... Well, the, the, the two in the middle, the reddish ones, are it's more practice pieces than they are completed pieces. They're just sort of kind there of as tr transitional uh, pieces. Uh, there isn't enough yeah. contrast in either of them. Um, yeah, there. A lot of the colors are very much the same. There's not enough. Uh, yes, that's what I've noticed in my sections. In my stuff, all the colors, all the shadings of gray and stuff, are very they much the other. same. There's no, there's, there's no really dark shades. black. Your 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 darkest darks and your lightest lights aren't there, so that you you miss yeah, that. Yeah, this, this everything all is all playing together. It okay. shades great you. Uh, the tall one, which is a newspaper piece, it's a tree with on the cliffs up there. Yeah. Uh, that I tossed a couple. It, you can't really see it from here, but you can see it on uh, yeah. even art. There are I, a couple see it. Splat, splatters of green mm -hmm. in there, which like in, in the by sky. The time I, yeah, there's like big dots of green paint in there. I saw oh, this like or something. And. Um, yeah, they're not they're not placed well because by the time I did the rest of the landscape, they they were kind of like they're not balanced anymore. That one's not too bad of a piece. Uh, there's also you get the big cliffs with the drop offs and and it seems kind of plain to me. Uh, the piece next with the dark one. A lot of people don't like that one. <laughs> I like it more than uh, a lot of my friends and family do, but it looks cool. Uh, it's it's extremely plain. Uh, there isn't enough anything. You just have these basically the background element. There's a couple planet elements. You know, there are these creatures, oh. just in white, and the creatures don't fade into anything. They don't uh, really have any shadows to them. They're just kind of there. Um, Ow. Uh, the one on the far right is I think there are too many splatters in that especially towards the top there's just there's too much Yeah. Um, and what I did on that piece is within the black I used black pen which you can only see when you're really close which is nice but mm -hmm. uh the, the details I think are really lost at the five foot mark, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. it, 
I, I, I don't know if somebody is going to walk up to that to get closer to, to see those details. So. Or if it's like Gatto, it's also which it isn't. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, you know. I mean, in Gatto, people get up close and they really look at the details and they, they sometimes even sketch them, which is what I do sometimes. I go to the local yeah. art museum down here. I like to sketch some of the landscapes that I never end up yeah, doing. I'm going to get uh, this guy off the wall. Yeah, that one looks Here's really cool. Source. From I like that one. This, this is was the last time lapse video on the channel. That was actually a time lapse. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, you were you were um, working on sketching that digitally, yes. weren't you? And, and hang out. Uh, yeah, I was there. Well, and then I, I I, then I moved to a traditional thing to get it right. Yeah. Um, yep. There's actually I only one thing wrong with this in, in, in my mind. Well, maybe two. Uh, the rocks up here uh, are. They're they're kind of like bubbly, and they're they're um, lacking a lot of they're lacking a lot of structure, I think. I was thinking the, that very very the front ones. rock. This one. The very the very front rock to the left to the corner. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Um, like the water around it doesn't seem like it's um like the other water around the other ones had the whiteness to it. And that one a, I think it's just the shadow and the yeah, it's just the shadow of, of the yeah. thing. It's, it is, it like, is a little less. It draws less my there. eye. Yeah. I like it, though. It looks so good. Uh, there's Actually, uh, this is funny. Because I, I varnished this piece before I actually finished it. My video's gone again. No, it's up. Or it's for me. Yeah, it's for me, too. So, there's a section right here. This corner. There's these waterfalls here. And right here, there's supposed to be another waterfall, and I forgot to put it there. And uh, oh. it's it, it's like it's set up to be there, and the 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 way the uh, the shadows are there, they're set up to be this little one coming off to the side, and I forgot to do it, and then I varnished it, and then it wasn't there, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's still not there. <laughs> so every time I look at this you. piece, I'm like, I forgot to put it in. So, I think that applies to all artists, though. Like, um, like, we all see something that we won't like about a painting, which is kind of a good thing. Because if we're ever satisfied, then it's like, what's the whole point of continuing? Yeah. But um, yeah. So I, I can't remember what my point to all this was. <laughs> something um, about sure being critical of, and and learning from your mistakes. I think was the was the, the main thing of it but um but yeah it's it's uh it's it's a process and you try and what I do and this is this is definitely more me is every piece I do I try something different every single one and it may not and you may not notice that I'm trying something different but every single time there is something different about what I'm doing I've noticed and um it and every time it's like okay I'll learn from this one and uh I, I think I showed my mom's paintings a couple of times in a hangout and uh, some of her old ones. And she always says something like, um, oh, God, I don't even know now. <laughs> she's like, oh, you, 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 you should, you, you said she's, she always says something like, you should go back and fix this. And I'm like, well, I'll know for next time. <laughs> when, I, when I sign a piece, it's Just done, and I'm not going to touch it. I'm not, I don't touch it again. Yeah. I would like to but say I do that, but next at the same time, time I, I get bored. Oh no. Yeah. Um, I like to say that I don't go back and redo stuff, but at the same time, when I'm in classes where I'm around other people and I kind of want to draw and they want to see me draw, like, but I mm. can't just think of a, a thing to draw, so I like to just go back and just fix my other stuff or yeah. redo it slightly. Yeah. I'll, do that. I'll that, do that in that's my sketchbook. I'm ever to sit in my room. If, if yeah. So, yeah. If I'm pulling out my but, sketchbook um, around people, I'll go. I'll flip back to something that I can add more detail to. Yeah, exactly. Wow. But besides that, I don't ever sit in my room and just like, I'm gonna redo something. I'm like, it's done. It's done. I'm yeah. done. I don't want to put more time. After six hours and oh, one thing, which I've got good, faster now. A good now, I'm thing to do a hours. redo for. Talk about talking about redos. I'm gonna pull this up. Um, I. Uh, I uh, a friend of mine oh, who's done a couple of uh, 
I've done some music for, or did some music for me rather, in a couple videos. He did music for um, Two Point Luminosity time lapse and uh, Spirit Mist time lapse. He did, he uh, recorded and uh, produced the audio for um, versus me getting a song or whatever. And um, yeah, I'm gonna find it now. And uh, he does the past few years. He's been putting out uh, little Christmas album projects. Um, uh, for sale, and uh, last year uh, he had me do uh, his, his Christmas album last year. As I've been doing the album art for him uh, in in return, and uh, this is uh, his uh, album Star of Wonder from last year that I did the work for. And I just kind of sketching up something simple. And he's like, you know what? That's perfect. I'll just use that. And yeah. uh, this yeah, year, uh, how long ago was this? Uh, what? How long was that ago? The, this was last year's mm. Christmas album, which I did in Photoshop and just something real simple. Mm. And uh, I don't know, this it year, it's a lot older because you've gotten uh, yeah. Older, I guess. So I, I'm about to show you yeah. what I mean here. Uh, this year, he said, "I'm going to uh, rework and re-release the album under the name Star of Wondering." Mm. And so uh, he said, "Can you go back and rework the uh, uh, oh. image?" I said, okay, well, I went in and I used yeah. that uh, original one as a base. And um, mm -hmm. this is the new one. Um, See. Link. So, I... Um, yeah, I'll hide this guy yeah. in that one. <laughs> Yeah, it's just this guy, and, and then oh, so I'm like, okay, this this looks way nicer, and so I did a side by side comparison yeah. of the two, yeah, the just within one, about a year. One, the yeah, the first one, yeah. uh, I thought the sheep were hunchback people. They look like hunchback <laughs> people, yeah. and that sheep. But the second one, you can clearly tell it's a sheep and a shepherd. I like the village yeah. a lot more, and that sky is wonderful. I kind of the stall though in this in the first one. Yeah, I went. Uh, I decided to I give it a little more of a flair. Um, mm. Yeah, I, I wanted to make it. I think they're both more, better. They're better than what I can do. I did. A, see, last year's I did a general desert. I'm like, I wanted to look at what mm -hmm. the actual landscapes in that region look like, and a lot of them are much more rocky yeah. than sandy. So I, I did that. So the uh, the background mm -hmm. section. That that's just black against yeah, the sky, that. and then made it lighter. Like, those are so good looking. Um, both of them are better than what I could ever do. Like I, sketch wise, I might be able to get the second one, the first one, the second one. But <laughs> color wise, I can't do that. I'm not good enough. It actually, it actually looks like watercolor that they did, which is pretty much it was the same inspiration that I did a time lapse of like um two years ago. But yours is more detailed yeah. and way better. Uh, the um, I'm just, oh, I can't do it. Here. The, the the base for a lot of my work um, is mid tone, shadow, highlight, just three layers, um, yeah. and that's most of what I do. Um, and a lot of people no, are, like oh, in the second. Talk about the, like the shadows and the highlights. That's that's all it is. Mid tone shadow, highlight. Mid tone shadow, highlight. And uh, everything's based off of, of and the, the second star one. as the light source. And, uh, yeah, and the second one you can you can see the 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 scale between the darkest dark and the lightest light mm -hmm. a lot more than in the first one. You know, it's more yeah. all the same color. You know, I really like that. I like the I, the the blackness, the rocks in the back. Yeah. It's a, it's a great looking. I I had done. Just the sky and the rocks, and then compare the two, and I was like, "Damn, that looks way better." <laughs> I know. I have a problem and, uh, when I've it comes got... to drawing stuff going from dark to light. And I'm going to be working on a uh, oh, if my things... next, uh, Photoshop brush pack is going to be a set of stars. Um, yeah. And what I did for the stars in this is I took this entire section from the first one as the stars, and made it smaller. And both copied and pasted over and over and over itself several times, and created a brush of like little dots out of it. And so I could just stamp it like a thousand times uh, in each section over here, and then change the color of them a couple times, and to be able to make a, a more realistic starry sky that way. 
and uh, it's a really it's a really nice brush. I might just release that one brush as as a single thing because it's it's really nice and it's yeah. exactly what because I I've d I've done I've had a handful of star brushes in Photoshop before, but none of them are. I mean, they're they're either like direct photocopies that are just a stamp, or they're mm -hmm. very specific to. I think I think the the actual star in the piece is one of the star brushes that I that I've had previously. Mm -hmm. I think I've yeah. I've ditched a lot of my but the brushes that have been in there cause just so I can make mm -hmm. my own brushes and be able to use them uh, more so. But yeah, uh, it's it's yeah. probably wrong. Get. Uh, that's why I kind of want to get Photoshop. The first job I got, um, I let's get, let's just say legally got it off Google. Um, <laughs> CS5, but it has no brushes. It, it, it won't let me add my own brushes to it. So it comes to the brushes it has, and that's it. Why? And so you I never really don't used you it have uh, don't you have the brush folder? Yeah, I have the brush folder and everything. They don't show up. I don't get it. In the in the video, um, uh, mm -hmm, illegal video, I found of it. Uh, the guys showed you even how to put the brushes in it, but it just doesn't work for me. And I can show it to you right oh. now. It's the I have the brush folder. I can add custom brushes. In. Don't pop up. They don't show up. I went through everything and the options and like. Oh. But That's I have Corel, I have Corel now. Corel 12, which yeah. I love so much. Does it take? It. Uh, I don't know if it, if, if it, the same brush files will work or not. No, I don't that. think you can even add your custom brushes in it. I'm not even sure you can add custom brushes to it. A lot of, I don't see a lot of people using it also, like Corel 12. Nobody seems to use it and kind of like, why not? It's so great if you ask me, but... <laughs> I, got, yeah. I, I didn't even know you could make uh, custom brushes for a while, and I think uh, yet it was in one of Yasmin's videos. And I was like, you can do that? Yeah. And then I'm like, wait, I have elements. Can I do that? <laughs> I can do well, that! So... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you know, I have Photoshop elements too. I got with my Quo. Well, I got with my tablet. Photoshop. I don't think I have it on this computer. But I, I actually spend more time uh, producing audio tracks now than I do uh, in Photoshop. I have, I have a whole bit of for um, music, I guess. Like I like like I like music that other people like. I'm talking about, like just making it myself, or getting the beat right. I just don't have the rhythm. Yeah. yeah. I, see, that's the thing. This is um. Mm -hmm. I can think of something in my head, and the program I use allows me to do it, just yeah. real quick. It's just always a restriction on some kind of um alt you want to do. I should I should do a video is... of me uh, working in that program. That's good. That's Ab That's Ableton. That's yeah. This is that's one a, of the longer uh, streams. Yeah, it is, it, and, we, and we're yeah. actually filling it with information and stuff too. It's not just yeah, information. Silence not drawing though, crap. but um, yeah. yeah. Oh, this one, the problem we're with this one though, it's going to be a pain to hang to do the time codes for because I'm gonna really have to go back and watch through it. Um, oh no! <laughs> I, I think, is, is there a way that you can lower thoughts up when you screen share? So I no, I still think they. I, I think they still didn't uh, <sighs> play with that. So one thing I don't like is that um, no one knows who I am right now. If they do watch, which hopefully yeah. they do. Well, all we see is a big eye. Mhm. Mm wow, well, what were we talking about again? Oh, I, maybe I can pull that up for a little while here. Um, I'll go back to screen share. Hopefully it won't be too crazy. So. Because I've been working on a few tracks, and a lot of times I don't work on a track until I know I have a video going mm -hmm. already. But occasionally I'll just I get a beat for that. <laughs> ready to go. Um, yeah. I don't so know this is how you don't get hit by copyright and stuff. I feel like every YouTuber Actually, who isn't partner work. has problems with copyright. Just, copyright almost put, put my it, channel down at one okay. point. <laughs> Jeez. See, this this is why I I, do, if, if this... This program runs about, uh, I think it's like ninety to not ninety to a hundred dollars, and it's too much for me. And anyone who says like, I wish there was a good uh, program like GarageBand for Windows, this is it. Um, I googled that forever to find something like GarageBand for Windows. Yes, this, this is uh, it. Um, that's it. For, yeah, this this oh, is wow. what you want to find. It's it's Ableton Live intro. 
uh, the the sweet version and the the full version is like it's like Photoshop. It's like five hundred dollars, but this one is much cheaper. Get my laptop uh, now to see what I've, I did. Okay, the the output for this is on uh, my speakers right now, so you should be able to hear it through the microphone. Should um, be able to. I'm just gonna go in. It's if you buy the actual disc version and not the download version, you get a lot more uh, samples. Yeah. Um, let me pull out. Oh, let's find a. Uh, uh, just this is just a, a riff that's sitting in one of the folders. I'm trying to figure out what program it was that I found that was close thing to it, which I actually really like, but is a free, so it's not. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Um, what was it? Yeah, Back you hear that? Yeah, I hear it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you get you know all these uh, samples and and you. Uh, general music files and drum files and stuff. Okay, I found it was called. also uh, what? Um, Mixcraft Five. Thing. <laughs> what I found. Um, yeah, I, think, I think I've heard of that. It, it seems like it's a really good thing. It has so many options. Which is what I like about Corel and stuff. So it has a lot yeah. of options. This this program is a lot more. It's I I used this in high school for a little while. I think it was like a demo or maybe a torrented version or something. Um, yeah, several, version several versions from ago. So, several Got versions Google. ago, and uh, uh, I, so I kind of knew how to use it a little bit to begin with. So when I came back to it, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this. And what's cool about it is you can uh, mix stuff without without the timeline first. You're just playing with loops, and then you go into the timeline and record it. And this is a track that. Uh, the the melody and everything is entirely original. There's some there's one beat track, maybe one or two beat tracks that uh, were were just sampled, but uh, uh, for the most part, uh, everything uh, is entirely original. And uh, this I, I don't have a video to use this in, which sucks because it's a really great track. Here. And I am now in a better room with better lighting. <laughs> Yay. But yeah, I, I did the melody of that myself and, and it's just been playing around with that. But I don't know where to use that. It's a problem. It's it's a it's a good track. I don't know where to put it. Yeah. So. But yeah, it's it's well worth picking up. But every uh, a good a good number of my videos uh, lately, and for the past like year or so, have been using this. Um, so. I don't know. Maybe I can pull out a. Uh, maybe we can find a video that uses it to give you a good example. Beep. I heard a beep. What was that beep? Um, <laughs> friends calling me on Skype. Oh. <laughs> mom, I'm sorry. Like, That's no, right. go away. He's gonna st stop spamming me. But, um. But uh, yeah. hopefully, I mean, I don't know what you guys think of the. Uh, what th what you guys think of my little songs that I've been putting into the videos, but. Uh, all, all the tips, all the, head right now. Um, all of the tip videos, uh, tutorials, and that kind of thing in the past year have all been using custom audio. Um, okay, that's nice. So that little bit of background stuff. Because <sighs> I have a website well, well, now. Well, give, give, give me a mood. So. Give me a mood and, and a length to shoot for, and I'll give you a track. Um, okay, sounds awesome. I just found I found this one that I want to use for the next video whenever I do it because I finally made my own 3D intro in Sony Vegas. Yeah. Um, so my I, next video I, is gonna be I'm thinking about. Um, be so much better. I'm thinking about releasing some of these mixes to like a Bandcamp account uh, for Creative Commons use. That way, other people can use them too, because you know people need music. Um, which I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it or not, but. It could be, you know, useful for all you guys looking for music. You can just pull one of my tracks that I'm making, you know. Yeah. Let's see. I 
done, I've done it on a couple of time lapses, but uh, oh, my two uh, recent drawing time lapses, the video, the video game ones, uh, mm-hmm. were, were were tracks from the game that I mixed in that program. Oh. Uh, Pianta Man was the well, most recent of that one. Um, but yeah, they're they're in there. <laughs> So I'm working on one. I'm going to be putting together a trailer for stuff to come next year. So I'm working on a, a track for that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm trying to get the right things going there. But yeah, April so yeah, to live intro if you happen to yeah. be looking for something. Have money. <laughs> well, financing it, you can use other people's well, free ask, music. Ask, it for, ask for it for Christmas. I'm always asking for too much stuff for Christmas. I feel really bad for what I'm asking for Christmas. So I'm asking well, for my second graphics card. Oh, sh- Birthday's not to August. A, you don't need a second graphics card. <laughs> no, yeah, I do, because I played bad before. I had to put it in my 650. I can't really play it on good graphics. So I get my second graphics card. Hopefully a Blue Yeti microphone, because I don't like the microphone I'm using right now. I feel bad talking to you guys with this microphone. I, it, it sounds Excuse fine to me. Uh, nope, I'm, I'm, getting my, I'm getting my professional Blue Yeti, hopefully. And um, a second a second monitor, because I used to have dual monitors, because I'm a laptop and my screen, but now I'm on my yeah. desktop, so I only have my screen, and I hate doing with one screen. Um, See, I have... any webcam. I've got, um, I've got a, a 27-inch... Uh, modeler. It's just the one, and it's fine. I'm perfectly happy with the one. Um, yeah, but when it's 27 inches, that's different. It's not that bad with 27 inches. <laughs> but when it's a, like a 19-inch, a maybe? Maybe not even that. Um, yeah, small ones. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like a monitor. It's supposed to be a TV, but it has no HDMI. I'm actually using an adapter for it to go into my card. I'm being called again on Skype. Go away. <laughs> if I should tell them, to, don't call me. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah, a being super being cool art live stream. Totes. Leave me alone. <laughs> you won't go. Leave me alone. Oh, I'm super cool Podcast. now. I feel I special. <laughs> hey, I've watched every single live stream you've done pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't remember making a comment about that being a waste of time. <laughs> it's not a waste of time. Hmm. Maybe not for you, but uh, if, if, I think if I had to go back and watch all mine, I'd... I'd well, it occupies me, okay? There's some pretty good cheap I, laughs uh, in there, don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. We have some this time. Laugh. This is the, one of the longer ones. We're almost at three hours now. Uh, no. I mean, I'm not drawing at this wait. point. We're just, yeah, we are three minutes from, out, from three hours. But we're not even drawing at this point. We're just talking, which is okay. Yeah. It's, I mean, I, it's, 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 been, it's been hard to line up times with all you guys, especially with my sleep schedule. Um, I almost didn't make this one. Yeah. She talks finally. <laughs> hey, at I'm least drawing. I haven't, at I'm least I haven't been drinking yarn tonight. To <laughs> yeah. I thought she maybe she died would left a while ago. Oh, it's going to just this is like a little flower there. It's just, it's just there. I haven't even looked at oh, comments no. in forever. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, hey, yeah, look at this flower. Um, <laughs> I, it hasn't really been updating much here, I should see. Yeah, I know a while ago I meant to say this, but we were talking, I was lazy. Um, someone said, "What? Wait, is this the one of the hang hanged out with people or PPL known?" Question mark. I say we we help people known in this one. That guy. Isn't that you? On spending, though. Or no. the other guy. Apology. The apology eighty nine is not me. That was that was him. That was no, the very me. beginning. Yes, guess it's been about three hours. And oh. That was three hours ago. And wow. Yeah, it's two. Where's time going? It's ten fifty, Ben. Well, <laughs> we should probably wrap it up if we've been going for three hours. <laughs> um, no. Uh, just trying to think for a second here. What was I going to say? Okay, so three hours ago. I'm going to do a little bit of head math. Three hours ago, there is... Let's, let's do two hours ago, because there's four of us now. Four yeah. of us, eight hours... I was, uh, I was here 
past 30 minutes. Okay, so... Oh, broadcast will be terminated in an hour, so, okay. <laughs> we should probably... It will be exterminated um, in an hour. So, that's roughly eight and a half hours collectively we have wasted. <laughs> Was wasted. No. I didn't waste any time. Spent. I've been working on Christmas. Yeah, you, your drawing actually looks productive and done. So, I didn't waste time yeah. either. I finished more or less that one painting I was doing, which I wanted to finish by Christmas time. I haven't done anything on it the past three days, so this was helpful. Well, That's not done yet, though. I still got oh, some small detail. So I have to. Basically, I'm waiting till the new camera gets here before I record a whole lot of other new stuff. Hoping if I get the webcam for Christmas, which I doubt I will, it would be a nice one, like a 1080p one, and then I can actually do more stuff. The, I camera, my face please, the, the ca cameras are not what hold you back. Yeah. It's, something is always holding me okay. back because I don't want to do stuff. Okay, let's see. Where is my old camera? I will go get it and I will show you exactly what I mean. But Okay, you, you, you well, watched the Sonic I, video early on in the channel, right? Actually, I'm, I haven't. I'm really talking about the Sonic one. That's the one I haven't well, watched, I guess. You, you've, you've probably seen one of my videos that, with its, that 4 by 3 ratio, right? Uh, old square. Not sure. I'm they're, not they're sure. Old I, mean, I, wa I watch all the f hangouts basically, and I watch all the new stuff that comes out since I started. Yeah, if, if you go back to any of the old stuff, it's old uh, four by three ratio, and um, this is the camera I started with. Um, mm -hmm. This was my video camera. It's not a video camera. It's a picture camera. It is five megapixels. I got it in 2004 when I was in high school. It was a gift because I asked for a camera, mm -hmm. something that had something I could do with something with a shutter or something. I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah, this is it. Um, this doesn't take pictures anymore because it, the uh, CCD card is corrupted and, and bad. But it actually does take video at um, 240p, I believe. <laughs> um, oh, lovely. But yeah, this, that's what I recorded in for the longest time. And in 2010, I believe, I got the one I've got now, yeah. which is the 480p uh, Sony Handycam. This is the one I've been using for the past uh, three, four years, which is this guy. I can't do anything about 480p because my upload. <laughs> and, and, so I take it. And, the, and I'll record in this, but I actually uh, upload at 720, not that it helps at all, but... Yeah. And the new camera is essentially a newer version of this, uh, and I could have gone probably much more expensive, but I wanted to keep. It. I, I yeah. didn't want, actually wasn't going to get the camera until next year. But the big mm -hmm. one of the biggest things is I can use the exact same batteries that I use with this, so I don't have to buy new batteries. Isn't it double A's or something? Double no, A well, A's. No, the, well that's what the little one took. This is a battery pack. It's Specific oh, to back, no? the okay. models, and uh, oh. I've got no. uh, a, a, the small one that came with it. And it's funny when I bought the, and these are big giant ones, um, which actually put a lot of weight on the back of the camera. But um, uh, to buy really a, confused there for a long, big battery pack, long time. Uh, I was watching from, the YouTube, <laughs> to to get one of these big ones from Sony, it's like a hundred dollars, and I got two of them on Amazon for like fifty. <laughs> So I got I got the batteries real cheap, and so what I'm planning on doing with the old one is when I do t do a tutorial video, I'm going to have the old one pointed at my palette, so that'll just be on the palette all the time. So anytime I go back for more paint, you'll be able to see that. And I did it once uh, with a video with this, um, and it seemed to go pretty well. But it was the old one, and I needed to use a memory card for it, and I could only record so much. Uh, so I'll be yeah. able to have the old one going and have that as a smaller uh, overlay on the 1080p video mm -hmm. for the new one, so mm -hmm. it, you won't see the quality shift. So I'll be able yeah. to use both of them and uh, work. So and so, your your viewership has actually helped the channel because now I because that's the thing is I got my paycheck from uh, Google for the past you know mm -hmm. three months or whatever it's been, and uh, the the channel is. Uh, um, uh, 
benefiting the channel, I guess you could say. Yeah. Uh, so I don't want to say, money, I money I'm earning now is going right back into it. Yeah, so. that's good. It's where it belongs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to say <laughs> I hope out any YouTubers in particular, but I know people who don't like the videos and stuff. I like every single video I click on. If I click on, I'm going to like it. Before <laughs> I even watch a video. Uh, I I am very particular with my likes. I really am. I are you still there? Yeah. Uh, sounded like you muted out for a second. I don't know. Um. But yeah, I am so particular with my likes. <laughs> I'm like, eh, this is nice, but not enough to go into my in my thing full of likes. Occasionally I'll throw up a comment, but you know. I'm even more particular with my comments. I almost never comment anymore. I gotta be like really impressed or really irritated. <laughs> hmm. Well, I don't hear anyone anymore. I'm still here. I'm just like okay. I'm listening and playing the game at the same time. All right. Um, I, think, I think it might be time to, to close the hangout and uh, end end this one for today. But it's only nine fifty seven. For you, it is. <laughs> it's almost 11 for me. That's okay. I've only been up since 7. <laughs> Sleep. That's for regular people. <sighs> no, 7 p.m. <laughs> oh, damn. What's wrong with you? <laughs> that's, the th that's the thing. was when I said... Uh, when I put the thing up to Google+, Plus and... Oh, he's gone. <sighs> I he's knew there was a problem with he... Um, but uh, when I put the, the thing up to, to Google Plus and said sometime after six, because I knew I wouldn't be awake any time before that, having worked last night and everything. Oh, so that's right. You work in retail. Yes, yeah, it's Black Friday. Shoot. Uh, but no, but that's it, it. Grocery stores don't get Black Friday. We get. Oh, that's right. The day, the day before Thanksgiving is what we get. Yeah. I had to go in Thanksgiving night too for six hours. That sucked. Yeah. Well, my so I got dinner and I basically night, had to like, run. That stinks. I was actually really against that. I was like, what the hell, America? You, don't, you want a new TV more than you want to spend time with your family? Yep. They do. Well, most I noticed that most uh, stores on that are open Thanksgiving Day for Black Friday don't even open until like 8 p.m., so... No, but still, like, it should be a full day yeah. devoted to it. Like, um... Just, I just, remember, just like how Christmas should actually be on Christmas, but it's not. Yeah, no, um... Which is actually... That's that's a sneak peek. My, uh... uh since next week starts the uh, the Every Other Week vlogs, that is actually my first uh, rant for the, for the new vlog series is, is Christmas music and... and uh, I actually wanted oh, if, like I actually wanted like if you would consider doing a podcast because it's like we always you always do the live hangouts but it's like it's usually freer and like a podcast it's like it's more structured and see I tried to do that with the Sunday from the studio thing and it 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 started out really great and then like plateaued and went like, you know well um because one I can't do scheduled stuff barely like I. The uh, fr video for I think Friday, I was like, oh yeah, it's Friday. I have an upload to do. <laughs> yeah, and um, I kind of didn't like me to do, like Sunday from the studio. It's like I was at church when he did like. Yeah. Darn it, well, then, well, but then it was in the morning, and then it was in the evening, and then it was like late afternoon, and uh, <laughs> so whatever. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, I. Every time I try and do something extra, it's pretty much failed. <laughs> like the beginning of this year, I was trying to do, oh yeah, two videos a week all the time. No. <sighs> now it's like two videos a week occasionally, but mm, don't know. From now, because like when I was a few years ago, I was trying to get on this website called thatguywiththeglasses.com where they review stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like I was trying really hard to get on it by doing reviews. I took them off now because it's like I gave up on it. Yeah. Because like it's a lot of work to like record yourself, make sure you don't look like crap, and um. I look like crap pretty regularly, so I don't. Uh... <laughs> no, but like um, 
Because, like, the deal is, like, a link, I sent it to you on DeviantArt, and, like, you can see what they do, and, like, the deal is you review stuff, and I was like, okay, I'm going to review movie soundtracks, and, like, it's kind of hard to actually sit down, dink up stuff uh-huh. for it, make comments about certain songs, and it's like, darn, this is too hard. Yeah. And then, like, I started doing the time-lapse painting videos, like, and I was like, okay, I'll try doing this once a week, and I'll just do it whenever I have a song that I really, really like, yeah. and then it goes to the painting yeah, but uh, it's, it's since since I've been doing um, since I'm sort of picking up subscribers now and and I guess you could call it semi-successful. Um, well, not semi. I mean, it's successful. It's, it's just successful. Not, you know, so I'm like, okay, I need to start bumping up the quality here. Yeah. So you know, new camera, uh, videos that are actually more structured and planned versus like. Yeah, I'll talk about this this week, you know. Yeah. Um, so you gotta take down that Michelle fan and Ray Rhythm Johnson. <laughs> what? Oh no, I was like, you're gonna take down Michelle fan and oh. Ray Rhythm Johnson, like the top. What? They're up there in the top YouTube people. Oh. So, uh, I don't know where it's gonna. I mean, I don't know what I'll gain out of it, if anything. But you know. Well. Uh, you know, doing the weekly video thing certainly uh, boosted things quite a bit, um, yeah. but uh, I'm just my own network, I guess now. But uh, yeah, it's kind yeah, of it's... funny because like I only discovered your channel because like one day I was like, how can I get better at painting? I was just type in acrylic painting. See, that's see that's the thing. When I started doing tutorials, um, the reason I started is because I people would come up to me and say, oh, I wish I could paint like you. I'm like, well, I, it's not super difficult, at least not for me. But obviously, I'm biased. But um, I'm like, here, I'm like, here. These are, this is what I do. You know, this is, this is how I paint. It's not impossible. You can learn it like anything else. Yeah. And that first tutorial I put up, which is a re-upload now, I think topped out when I ended up deleting it uh, for uh, to redo the audio. I think it topped out at like 30,000 views. And I was like, hmm, there might be something to this. Like it started off really slow and then started picking up and picking up and picking up. And um, so I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll keep doing this. And it's just kind of stuck. Yeah, it also depends on like what your keywords are. Because like um, yeah. the video that has the most views on my account is, um, like I think it, it just recently got into the thousands. And um, it's a DIY that's, for that's like... A- like that's I don't a big have that. Day. It was a happy day for me, but like, yeah, I, those, those, when you first, when you hit those first big numbers and you're like, <gasps> you know. No, but I kind of like super cheated. Like um, all of my other videos, I still like in the tens. Yeah. And like um, what I did was I made this diary from a character on Doctor Who. Like she has this very beautiful diary, and I made one and I did a DIY on it and like. It was like, oh hey, I'm getting a lot of views on this than I expected. Because you tagged like, Doctor Who and you did something. Uh, I, like, I, I think did something cross cultural. I guess is a is some way to say it. It's when yeah. you do something that that hits. Like you can do art and artistic things, but when you do something that uh, hits in that... different um, different no. groups, I guess you could say. It's like when I do a. So I like the Sonic video. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was one of the first ones that started getting more views. Uh, and it's because I hit uh, nerd culture in addition to art culture, and I combined them, you know. Like, um, I did the video because, like, they do sell an actual diary from that character in real life, but it's, like, it's a very cheap, like, stupid one. Yeah, like, um, but, pe- but keep people will be interested in whatever you're interested in. Yeah, and like I was That's really pissed I, off about it. It's like, okay, I'm gonna make my own diary, and I I did a video of it, and like I was just like a lot of fans like it. Like I've only gotten like two thumbs downs. It's like, eh. I've see after talking to Tyler more, and especially it was begin the early Sunday from the studio stuff. Mm-hmm. It was how much thumbs up and thumbs down really doesn't matter because it shares it regardless. Yeah. Because I think I think we were doing one of those episodes, and this guy in the comments is like, well, I'm going to thumbs down your video, and we're like, fine, do it. <laughs> it's still a share. 
Yeah, like if I was younger, I would have been like, "Oh, somebody didn't like it," but now it's like, Psh, yeah. "I don't care about you. You're over there, and I'm over the first, here." The first sort of hate comment you get kind of hits you, but then after a while, it's like, "What do they know?" You know. Yeah, um, that's kind of why I'm uh, doing. There's a there's a video, one of my favorites on this topic. It's at I think it's at a comic con with it, it was a, the Geek and Sundry panel at one of the comic cons, and it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody asked Will Wheaton about uh, getting negative comments, or, or Felicia Day, or one of them. One of the two uh, answered this. And they say, "Well, you click on their name and go to their channel, and you realize, oh, this person doesn't make anything, so they don't know what it's like." Yeah. To put yourself out there and and take that risk, they're just going meh. And a lot of times, it's uh, either really immature people. Yeah, uh, that are just like, uh, <laughs> what you're doing something awesome. I want to be awesome too. Screw you for being awesome. Yeah, um, you know, no. like, um, and they just don't know how to articulate it. Like, I got two negative comments, and the first one was like, I did this, I did a tree diagram for Grammar Day, uh-huh. and like, I guess some people really hate grammar Nazis. So, and I used to be one. <laughs> I was watching talks about being a grammar Nazi and it says if you're correcting somebody's grammar the only person who's wrong is you because they know they're probably screwed up and you're just being a dick because you're telling them they screwed up you know you don't have to call someone out on their grammar like that's just stupid I don't know like it's a like I know it's kind of a disorder in my head like to like, it just bothers me a lot when, like, somebody doesn't get their yard right for a It's like, it's not that hard, people. Yeah, and, and, and a lot of times English isn't even their first language, you know? It's, so it's, no, 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 can't... no. These people, English is their first language. Like, I'm like... Yeah. Occasionally, well, it's like... Well, you have to I look got, at I, the person's you're background. Still there. Oh, my God, you're still for there. Instance, I grew up in the Deep South, and I have a lot of South Carolina, Georgia... <laughs> people in my family and you have to look at the culture that you came, we came from and even though I might write properly my speech is not going to be yeah. proper English I'm going to speak pe- with the southern will. dialect uh-huh. like I have nothing against the accents but it's just like um... a lot of people type the way they talk and that's one of the things a lot of times in like freshman uh, English in college a lot of teachers will say you cannot write the way that you talk. You have it's to true. write perf you know, you have to write English instead of just like, you know, throwing likes in into into sentences and no, I didn't, throwing I didn't you write know, like that, or but, whatever. Um, I was kind of like one of my friends pointed out like pointed out to me like you talk you write essays like the way you text your messages. Mm-hmm. Which is I don't know what that's saying since like um I'm one of the few people that like proofreads his text messages before I send them out. Uh-huh. But it's like um he pointed out he, that before I she said of that degree with like pitchforks and torches that I didn't write that good because I was writing like a text message and I was kinda like writing at a YA novel level. So that's one of the reasons why I quit it. Yeah. And I've kind of toned down from the whole grammar Nazi thing, but like um I do have some friends that do it on purpose to bother me. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're doing it just to, like, just for the hell of it to do it, it's you know, I mean, mm-hmm. it's like, come on. But you know, if you yeah. if you more const- if you're more constructive about it, I mean, there's I mean, there's a limit, you know. But yeah, yeah, there there is a place, time and place for it, but you know. Yeah, it's like nice. I've learned how to tune it out most of the time, like scrolling through Facebook. Oh. We can thank and most of the time, when I'm doing text messages on my phone, this is how big my hand is. I'm not going to go back trying to correct it because half the time when I try to correct it, I make it worse. Because I just, it's hard for me to hit one key at the same time. Because my hands yeah. are so freaking big. <laughs> and I don't like autocorrect because half the time autocorrect puts the wrong word anyway. I said, at least true. if the word is misspelled, they at least can probably phonetically figure out what I was trying to type versus yeah. autocorrect putting in a totally different word. 
Oh. I hate technology. <laughs> so that's why I like my tablet when I remember to charge it up. <laughs> because it has large keys, large keyboard. <laughs> What's it called? Um, back to the whole YouTube thing. Like, um, the other thing where I got a negative comment was when I was still kind of a beginner at painting, and I tried painting Amy Lee watercolor, and like somebody said, that doesn't even look like her. You suck at this. Yeah. I was like, I was just like really hurt. And she was like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's it, t taking criticism early on can be tough. Um, yeah. And a lot of people just either completely shut it out, which is both good and bad. Um, and then the other words, like people, like every single comment to heart. It's like not everyone is going to like your work, you know. That's a code. There's this um, series of videos called Fifty Shades of Green. Huh. And um, it's about these women that, these three women that got together and wrote a YA novel that kind of pokes fun at people like Stephanie Mayer and E.O. James because like they're these oversensitive women where if you critique their work like Twilight or Fifty Shades that they're like, oh my gosh, you are going against me, you are flaming me, yeah. you do not understand my work. And like they're kind of just uh, making... Uh, one of the things to look for though is uh, if, you're, if you're looking at uh, what seems like a hate comment, take out all the hate and try and mm -hmm. find what constructive piece there is. You know, is, yeah. is there something of value there? You know? Yeah, like that's what I kind of look for now whenever I get something that's criticism. Like, if I see criticism, I try my best to look for what's constructive about it. If I see, like, oh, you suck, then it's like, yeah. clearly you suck more. <laughs> and and there is there is a natural, you, you want to retaliate, but you're only making it worse. Yeah. Don't feed the trolls, as they say. Um, it's like the, a, the thing about it is when you do it, say that, you're trying watercolors for the first time, something like that, and half the time they will ignore yeah. because they know you're yeah. working with a new medium. Because, because then they realize yeah. that they're talking to somebody real. Yeah. It, it becomes real for them, like, oh, they're actually going to be nice. It's like, it's, yeah. it's, you can be a jerk back to them, but then they win. But if yeah. you're nice yeah. back to them and if, if you're calm about it, they're like, oh, well, I'm sorry, I, was, I wasn't, you know... I, I've hit this on the DeviantArt forum where... I'll say, I'm like, whoa, look, I didn't, you know, mean anything crazy by that or anything. You know, uh, you, you know, like, you really need to relax here. And they're, oh, well, I wasn't feeling good that day. And I'm like, well, you know, don't take it out on somebody you don't know. Yeah, it's like you don't, you don't throw, you don't angry comments just because you're not feeling good. You know, well, that's kind of another thing they don't like about the internet. Sometimes is like sometimes I'll type something out and people will take it like as an offensive. Like, no, 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 no. I did not mean that, mm -hmm. I swear. The period does not mean angry thoughts. A uh, good example of this. Um, Thad's most recent video, I put something up that I guess he took the wrong way. Uh, uh, he did this cloud study, and I said, well, it seems a little incomplete. Um, and he went off on this thing, and I'm like, I'm like, look, look, I didn't mean... It. And he's like, well, it sounded like, uh, it sounded like you were just taking a stab at me. I'm like, well, I didn't yeah. mean it that way, I just... Trying to give it a little, I guess, mini critique, but you know, I guess it did sound a little uh, weird, you know. And we both mm -hmm. sort of ended up apologizing to each other in the end, but it was just one of those things. You type something, it's just if you're not, if you're looking at it the wrong way, you can just snap and just like, yeah, oh, you're, you know, you know. Like and one of the things is that I'm always sarcastic in real life and online, and so it's like, um, some people do take it to offense. It's like, no, 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 I'm so sorry, I am. Yeah, yeah, but. Uh, but words but yeah. can't convey your emotion or your or the connotation yeah. that yeah. your voice will have. There's, there's only so much you can do you know, through, through uh, text, comments. right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I guess we should wrap this up. Um, yes. Yeah. We are One thing I, I did want to make note of, and this is this will be in the 2014 trailer, is the minis, the DMC Films minis. I am finally bringing them back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a I've got a new series of ones that I'm going to be working on. Uh, the there's one that's uh, it's a staple gun where I shoot myself in the chest. What? Um, you, did you not see that one? <laughs> no. Go, go back go back and go to the channel and go to the to the minis playlist where it's it's me and a, basically a clone of me and there's going to be a whole series of these coming up. 
just to, to play on different aspects of you know personality and, and that kind of thing. But uh, I want to try and do like one every Monday at least in January, uh, which will uh, <laughs> certainly be an interesting little set. Um, you're you're going to find the video now, aren't you? <laughs> Um, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to link you to a few things I might find interesting. If you don't, you can totally just blow it off. <laughs> all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end broadcast. Um, we'll Twitter. be here in a minute. But, uh, Somebody said, to... rest in peace, Paul Walker. Long live Paul Walker. How can he live if he's dead? Come on. <laughs> all right, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Um, this was ran quite a while. I'll have time codes up as soon as I can. But I don't like going back to do them, uh, so don't hate me if it takes for, takes a while, because I know some, not all of them have them. Because nobody has. I'll try and that. have it up. I'll try and have them up uh, within um, oh, at least a little while, a couple days maybe. <laughs> so uh, yeah, see you everybody. Thanks to uh, uh, what are the YouTube names here? It was Apology eighty nine, which was you. Yes, I think. Uh, Juanita is uh, Dale Kwan. I am Davos Moon. Uh, and uh, the other guy, what's his channel? True Genie Code, that's who he was. So, ah. that's who is here tonight. Uh, feel free to search them, uh, find them on, on YouTube, and I'll have them, hopefully, in the description box later on. So, see you guys next time.